just let it roll. I get it. I get it. I, <laughs> I get it. I really do. If you get it, then all right. All right. All right. So what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Mildly Appropriate Podcast. Here we are, episode four. Uh, you know, we got our, our, our nice friend back. Daniel's yeah, yeah, back. Yeah. Daniel, feeling Thank better? Thank you. Welcome Wait, back, Dean. Nobody said, oh, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. Welcome back. <laughs> I assumed the welcome back, but nobody had said it yet, so yeah. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. We, said, yeah. we said fuck you in the last one. I know. I, I heard oh, it. Oh, you weeks. heard it? Two weeks, oh, Danny. that's embarrassing. No, because you, you, you retreated, you know? You, yeah, it's true. Not for Sean, though. Not for Sean, no, no, not You're off the payroll. By the way, we do not have Sean behind the cameras again. Again. He couldn't come, so that's fine. He had homework and stuff, but we have my brother again. He's also two hours away, so it's kind of We have, I don't think we've once had <laughs> i don't think we've once well, we haven't had, had the two, same consistent producer yeah, i know yeah, right. same producer for two episodes in can't a row hire good help anymore no nope, not tough. at all <laughs> tough, tough tough out there definitely yeah so uh we're gonna get into danny's trip yeah let's hop yeah. into it i'm sure there's a lot to go over yeah there and, is and uh we're mostly going to use anonymous names here but at the right. same time i want danny no holds barred just fucking all in oh yeah no we're yeah we got to go in i i mean it's like i don't even know where to start really let's i mean oh, god Start it's from all, like, when you left. Like, okay, from the beginning, the plan you were upset about, right? right? Okay, yeah. So a lot of travel. So seven days, seven seven day vacation, six six flights, six flights. All right, I'm getting the hint. I'm getting the hint. <laughs> hey, it's been a long time. All right, I haven't been here in a while. He's a little rusty. <laughs> so I mean, um, I think we ended up traveling a, a total of about, I think two days. Legitimately, like forty eight hours is right. Um, 41. 41 hours uh, for a seven day vacation. So really it's a five day vacation. Um, and um, But it was split up, right? So it was actually it was split up. The, yeah, so that's even worse, I feel like, because then you're traveling throughout the middle of the day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, in a way, because it's like then you can't really enjoy where you are. Like yeah. it's not like the, this was the beginning of the trip and then the end. Like the beginning of the trip, we went from Philadelphia to Germany, which, bless you, I think that was like a seven, seven hour trip. Damn. Or something like that. It's pretty long. And um, so whatever. I mean, it's fine. It's it's everything. Like so. All right. Preface it is that I I already knew this trip was gonna be fucked. Um, just by looking at how stupid the schedule was, man. I mean, I don't know why the fuck anybody would schedule shit like this, but they did, and uh, <laughs> we paid for it. And I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, it's kind of our fault too, because we did like say, all right, yeah, let's do this. But anyway, so I mean, it sounds like you guys gave it to one person to. Well, I mean, out, right? he sold us on the fact that he would do it. You know, That's like, true, yeah. it right. wasn't like we and were like, you do it, nice. you do it, and yeah, you figure it out. I do he this said kind he'd do it. Yeah, he goes, I do, I do this, this kind of thing. Yeah, I do, I do this, this kind of thing. thing. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of my thing. I don't know who for who, but I don't know how you sell a fucking job. <laughs> anyway, so, all right. So the fucking, um, the seven-hour flight to Germany, I think, uh, and we're not done yet. So so we get to Germany. Uh, there's a, I think that was a two-hour uh, layover. And then we get to uh, our next plane, which takes us to Mykonos. Um, so at this no, point, uh, man, you're already... oh, oh, that's right! Oh my god, I already forgot about this. For one day, yeah, I forgot about that. Dude, oh, that's right. That. Oh my god. Okay, so, so all right, let me backtrack again. There's two. There's two places we're going. We're going to Mykonos, Greece, Barcelona, Spain. Those are the two places for this trip. Um, the we when we get to Germany, we go from Germany to Barcelona. By the way, we haven't slept. We we don't sleep for like another day. Right. I think the next we don't even see a bed. Like it's not like we have the option. We oh, no beds, geez. no nothing. Yeah. Okay. So we get to uh, Barcelona. Uh, we have the entire day to just kind of dick around. And this is when this is when the sickness started. I know it. Because remember, I, if you remember, raining. It was raining when we got there. Wow. I don't. We don't have our check bags yet. So you know, none of my long clothes or anything like that. None of my oh, jackets. No. They're all gone. So we get to Barcelona. We have like the entire day um, before we can get back on a plane to go to Mykonos. Um, nothing was planned for this day. So we just wander around aimlessly for, I guess, I think it was like eight hours. Go back to the airport. I mean, you know, nothing really happens. We walked around for six. But yeah, six hours. We were there for, we were there for eight hours. Because, yeah. uh, you know, we, we left the airport and everything. Right, right. You got to get back in and all. Yeah. So <laughs> we get. So we haven't slept yet. I think it's been... It's definitely been at least 24 hours. I think we're bordering the 30-hour mark. Wow. By the time since we get you, on the plane. Since we first left. Since we first left. Gotcha. Nobody slept. So everybody's fucking beat up. Cranky. Cranky. Um, and then we we get on the plane to Mykonos. By the way, a fucking awful airline. Uh, Welling. Fucking awful. Awful. Oh, 
Oh. It's a, it's the spirit of Germany. You know what oh, I mean? No. Spirit Airlines of Germany. Oh jeez, well I went on Spirit one time. Shit. The one after Awful. you go on Spirit for yeah. the first time, you will not Never go on Spirit again. again. Nope. It's like plastic chairs. Yeah, that's what it was. They, they barely Thin. move. Yep. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, no, they, they didn't move at all. They're you know, fucking uncomfortable. I've never been on a labor flight ever. Really? Have you ever been on? It's, I, yeah, I have. Uh, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, I have now. Yeah, yeah I have now. And I don't Is that your first time? Yeah, yeah, that was my first time. I, I'm not looking forward to that. I hope I don't have to. Oh uh, yeah, it's a motherfucker. Yeah, it was I feel like you can't yeah. be. I feel like you have to almost look forward to it, right? Uh yeah, I would say so. I mean, because, like, like, think about it. It's like an un, unspecified, or unspecified like location that you're like, ah, I guess we have to stop here, and then right. hopefully you haven't been there. You can like kind of get a little, a few hour glimpse of what it's like. Right. But it doesn't seem well, like Well, it depends. Quite... It depends how long it is. Because, like, think about it. Because we, we were in Germany right. for four hours or so. One, one of the times we were in Germany for four hours. We, we can't leave the airport because once we leave, we have to come back. Right. So it, you it, don't it, see it, anything. It takes, like, an hour off of both ends of like, right. leaving and then coming back. Right. It's, like, the most – technically, we were in Germany, but we didn't do anything. I right. mean, we were just, just there. Because, yeah, we got some beers at the airport. And that was it. Um, so finally – all right. So co- going back to the story, finally, we get to Mykonos. It is four in the morning there. Um, I think for us, we hit like, and I don't know about the numbers. I don't know. Fucking correct me. I don't know. Right in. Um, I think it's like 35 hours at this point. Okay. Um, we get there. <laughs> I mean, what was nice is like the <laughs> Greek. Is, this is like when things are finally coming together. Well, I mean, coming apart. Like, I mean, this is just like everything's cascading and falling apart. Right. So we get there. And I don't know. To me, it was funny. It's just, I mean, the most Greek motherfucker I've ever met. Picks us up in the van. You know, I mean, this guy, like, barely speaks English. Like, hey, you're going to uh, a <laughs> side. I know the way. Like, we're like, okay. <laughs> Load our bags. We go in. I mean, it's four in the morning. This guy has energy. I'm, and we're all just, like, so fucking toast. Um, so we get to the place. It's, it's a nice Airbnb there. Um, and it's not far from, like, kind of where we're hanging out. They do a good job with the Airbnbs in general? Um, yeah, I, I would say no so. Rats? I mean, no, nothing crazy. No blood yeah. on the bed? No blood on the bed. No, nice. That comes later. That, cool. that does come later. Oh, geez. Yeah, oh, that geez. comes later. Um, yeah, this is a long story. So just Ooh. buckle in. Buckle in. Um, a lot, I'm ready. Lot I'm ready. So we um, we get to the Airbnb. I I got fucked. I got fucked in both Airbnbs. <laughs> I'm pissed off. This guy over here, man. This guy, I mean, uh, you want to talk about a crabby shit mood? This guy, when we fucking get to Mykonos, man. Oh, my God. Not going to compromise on a bed. Which is, you know, whatever. I, I can understand it. But when, like, I, so now I have to go on the couch and then vertically next to me, uh, God damn, we got to make up names for our friends. Somebody else. Shithead. Shithead. Yeah, shithead number one. Right. Um, uh, I'm never going to remember these names, but. Just, dude, just say it. I, should I? The just know who they are. substitute the name with the first letter and then that's all you need to know. Yeah. All right. So, Mac. <laughs> 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 so Mac and me are are pretty much on not on the same couch, but we're on the couches. Interesting. Now there was a solution. So the solution was that sleep with each other. Colin. No, well, no, not okay. not necessarily. Yeah, so me and Tyler. Sam Tyler got his own bed, but unfortunately, because of size, you know, he gets fucked with that a lot. I'll give it to him. But you know, it would have been nice that he didn't have to sleep in the fucking couch next to me because we're, we're big guys. You know. Side note: Me and Danny do cuddle at Mac. We best. do. Yeah, we do. Isn't Mac pretty big? Max pretty big too. Max a big guy. He seems to be a little bit bigger. Wait, than who is who is? He's Mac? bigger than. Oh, you know who Mac no, is? No, shut up. Just we're uh, not okay, gonna okay, say okay, the names. Okay. No, 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 I know, I know, Mac is. I know Mac. Is. So Christ. Mac is like pretty. He's a big guy. Oh yeah, right. Not as big as me, but still, we're big. No. We're the biggest guys there. Right. Yes. You're on the couch. Go on. Yeah. Right. And so he won't give us the fucking uh, bed because I, I think him said, "Oh God damn it, we'll bleep it." We'll <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that'll be bleeped out. Uh, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan has the Ryan. the fucking um. Has a double bed. Nobody's compromising. Everybody's in a bad mood. So we end up. Well, that, we were gonna sleep like that. Now, uh, God damn it! Two two other people, um, and myself. We decided not to sleep. It's four. I mean, by the time everybody's like settled in, it's about uh, six in the morning, and we're like, you know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna go out, explore Mykonos a little bit. So we go out and um, we uh, we're exploring, and we end up. I mean, this. So the, the vacation for me is pretty good at this point. It, it changes. Like I'm, I'm having a good time. Okay. Th- this is the best day of the vacation for me. Okay. Yeah, I heard Mykonos was the yeah. best spot. 
We yeah. end up, I mean, the, the long of it is like, long short of it, whatever the saying is, is that long we end up, short. the long story short, long short of it, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's late. Um, <laughs> the, uh, we end up getting ATVs and we end up just riding around Mykonos. Whoa. Pretty cool. Awesome. That's awesome. It was so good. Yeah. Like on a beach, on trails? It was on like mountain trails, beaches. Oh, wow. Yeah, we went all over. Like That's we, because we didn't sleep. So we just did that. How time. expensive were they? Um, I think it was, um, it was yeah, 70 euros. Know, yeah. Yeah, seventy euros for the th- the actual like um, ATVs, and then you had to pay like twenty something bucks for the um, twenty th- something euros for like this international license, which ended up being bullshit. But anyway, uh, yeah, oh, they fucking they got, got you. Got yeah. yeah, they got it. Um, so was it like guided, or is it just like free roam, hop on these ATVs? It was free roam. We just Whoa. went anywhere. That's Dude, sick. it was awesome. Yeah, best time. That's cool. cool. So all right, now this. So that's like day one for me. And things are falling apart quick. <laughs> this thing is going down fast. So uh, we get back probably like five o'clock and um, nobody seems to be in a good mood in the house. I, I, I think everybody slept that day. Right. So they, they've already lost their day. So I would Pretty kind of understand sleep, it. sleep, yeah. Yeah, they've, they've, they slept. They Jet didn't really lag. do anything. Yeah. Um, and How many went out on the ATVs? Of the group, like three percentage-wise. Three of us total. How many people were on the trip total? Nine. Okay. Yeah, so a third of us went. And, um, yeah, it was uh, – again, I'm glad I did that because that, that was the best part of vacation. Anyway, so <laughs> so Damn. we get back. Everybody we're, – we're pretty tired, but, I mean, we're feeling pretty good, um, you know, kind of given that we've been up for, I think, almost 40 fucking hours at this point. Jesus. I know. I, yeah. I feel like you get a point where you're past tired. Yeah, and it's yeah. also like we're on the ATVs. We're having a great time. The adrenaline's hitting us. Like, I don't know. We, we, were, we were fine. Yeah. And um, everybody else seems to be uh, have just woken up. They're going to the beach. So, <laughs> all right. So Mykonos is windy as fuck. And we went at a time when, like, it's it's summer's wrapping up. Peak wind. So it's fucking cold. So this, like, beach part of the vacation is, is fucked. Because it's too cold to really do anything. You can't hang out. The water is fucking freezing. Okay. Um, whoever went there for, like, the beaches, I think that was Tyler, sort of, to an extent. I don't know. Uh, they, they were fucked because it was too cold. So that night, um, I'm trying to remember what happens that night. I, I don't even remember. It's it's all kind of gets to a blur. But whoa, uh, I, I don't get a code name. No, you're here. You're you, here. Yeah, because we all know. All right. on. We all know who you are. Yeah, you're Tim. You're, all right, Tim. There yeah, you go. whatever, tiny Tim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, now let me get into like the shit because like it's if I go through every fucking day, we'll never get to the point. So okay, good. You know, we're it's that that's because that was actually my good day. So I'm glad I said that. That was that was the good day. I still have fucking six days left of this shit, and it, it all goes downhill. Um, and it and I think we split up into factions at this point because it's too many people anyway. So okay, it's enough. the it's like the mopey faction and and the Instagram faction. Those are the two factions in this trip. And I'm I'm, I'm in the middle where like I'm just kind of bouncing to both of them as the days go on. Fair enough. That's Definitely good. have a preference. It's, it's because yeah, Danny's the most loved person. So there's right. that good mixture. Like ah, I'm gonna go hang with these. Yeah, guys. right. Yeah. You know, you yeah. cut it back a little. You go hang with the others. Uh huh. Right. So Tim, if you want Tim. Um, <laughs> More like twat. I would say <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Sam's going after him. Yeah. Tim, Todd, um, and I guess Ryan. This is so stupid. I'm never going to remember this shit. Now I'm going to be lost on all these names. Yeah, right. right. After. Yeah. Cool. You can, you can piece it together, though. Yeah. Uh, they're, I guess that you'd consider them in the mopey group. We're like, they're, they're just not really feeling anything. Um, they're kind of bringing the mood down to an extent. Now, actually, Ryan was one of the people that went ATVing with us. So while he was with me and... Nathan, uh, it was it was a good time. Right. <laughs> so, oh, Nathan was with you. Nathan was with me. Yeah. Right. Nathan. Yeah. That uh, it was Nathan, Ryan, you, Nathan. and me. Yeah. Fuck right. over my MacFest trip. So, Kill um, you. well, all right. Don't give him away. <laughs> God damn it. You know, not I, that they listen to this crap. There's only three people in the on the on the ATV I, ride. Yeah, so, you're right. yeah, it's, it's already <laughs> too late. So, I mean, so there's the Mopey faction. That's that. I mean, for the most part, they're staying out of everybody's business. Um, I mean, you know, nobody wants to hang out with them, to be honest, because they're Ooh, mopey. Because they're right. mopey. Hey, they know it. They know it. Sounds like alcohol wasn't right. involved. They, so, I mean, here's another thing. A lot of people got sick. Almost almost everybody in the mopey faction got sick really? on the trip. Yeah. I know Tim was fucking sick. Um, what, what was the name again? Todd? Yeah, I think Todd was sick. Definitely. Yeah, he was very sick. He was the problem. He was, he was the problem. Yeah, he was fucking patient zero. He, oh, yeah, no. He, yeah, yeah. He kind of spread it. Anyway, so... Jeez. So here's like the 
the problem with the trip came down to the guy that planned it. I'm just going to say it on record, right? Really? Here. Okay. Because right? like it was poorly planned, and and there he's in the Instagram faction, right? So of now course. let's explain this Instagram faction. I have real never quick, in my life. I mean, oh my god. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. Yeah. Before you go on, yeah. let's clarify Instagram faction. Yeah. What are these? What are these fuckers doing? Okay, so they are. I mean, it's the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, pathetic. No. I mean, I, I I have quotes. I have quotes of the how pathetic this shit is. They all right. So let me let me explain. All right, please do. They are they are not here to vacation. Vacationing, relaxing, having a good time, being with your friends is the last thing on the, the Instagram faction's I, uh, agenda. Right. You know what <laughs> I mean? They're there to get likes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I've never seen anything like it. Talk about corporate number crunching bullshit really I, they were like you know i think like we can um you know if we get a shot of like the the waves crashing with the 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 fucking uh, uh um the sunset <laughs> you know that could actually probably give us like 20 percent more likes or something with a good with a good corny fucking caption right i mean i, I dude I, I couldn't be around him and then this is when it got personal because like it gets personal at this point is this, is this italian food yes okay so we're in greece right greece okay right this is like the height of the, the Instagram bullshit. We're in Greece. I, I'm there to, you know, get to know the culture. Now it's Mykonos. It's kind of a party town, but whatever. It's, it's as close as I'm going to fucking get. And so we get to this, like, Mykonos town, which is like a little, like, uh, hub, I guess you'd call it. It's where all the tourists go, pretty much. <laughs> and we go, and there's this nice... I'll tell them. I mean, it was a nice view. It was a nice view. So the right. restaurant is, like, right at the sea. Oh, nice. So, like, when you're sitting at the table, like, waves are kind of crashing. Oh, I, getting, I saw getting, Instagram getting, pictures yeah. of that. Oh, Obviously, of course. Of course, <laughs> of course, oh, of course I did, yeah. did you like it? Uh, no, it's a story. So, oh. now, the Instagram group... And, again, they're they're kind of leaders in, in, like, the whole, like, what we're going to do that day. Well, because they're, gotcha. like, the, the high energy... Yeah. High energy. Yeah. Right. They're, like, we're going to do fake, this. We want to initiate shit. You know? All right. Fair enough. They're fake. It's fake shit. I was getting pissed off. So, we get to this fucking restaurant, and nobody knows really what we're where we're going in terms of food. Okay. If I had known, I would have said something. I would have bailed. But we get a, we get a table, and I, I still don't know what's going on. It's a nice view, whatever. The, the Instagram faction, there's three people. There's three people in the Instagram faction. Um, I don't know who the third one is. I, I, know, I know. Okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it yeah, out. Just it's Fred. It's Fred, Bob, and... Yeah, I know. The other. Okay, I know. Robert? Robert. Yeah, yeah, Robert, yeah, yeah, Robert. yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, they're the, they're the Instagram faction. Now, all right, I, on record, Robert's not so bad. Yeah. But he's still sure. part yeah. of that yeah. thing. So, I mean, we sit down. We're, I'm waiting. We're waiting for the menus. We get the menus. I look at the fucking menu. It's Italian food. Right. So, yeah, I, I, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this can't be right. Why would you go? I'm, there, I'm like, I'll looking through the on. menu. I'm like, there's nothing Greek here. Nothing Greek at all. So I, I turn to the table. I'm like, uh, are we sure we want to eat here? Like, we still haven't gotten water or anything. We could fucking get up and leave. Ah. <sighs> Oh, geez. Here comes the Instagram. Here, here we go. Saying, Bob. Yeah. Bobby boy. He's got something to say. <laughs> he goes, well, you know what? I mean, the view's really nice here. So I think we're going to stay. I mean, I, and I shot a look at This is like kind of the first time I'm, I'm even looking at whoa, Tyler. Whoa, whoa. Tim, Tim. Oh, Tim. Uh, we'll bleep it out. Sorry. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, um, yes. I, I look at him. And, and we had the same look at the same time because of the same reaction. It was like. What and was the it in the fuck? was it in the yeah that that there you go was it in the, the tone thing. of uh of like a it's not we're here for the view to, to eat and have it enjoy no nice it was view. for fucking likes it was, it was the view okay I, so man so Freddie what was that is that the name again yeah yeah Freddie Freddie uh, uh and Bobby they're taking pictures of the view and all that and and meanwhile I mean we're getting the worst Italian food I've ever had in my fucking life oh no I'm so tempted to just leave because I'm like order? fuck this how much was it expensive. Um, yeah. nah. was it expensive? We got the same thing. We got the shrimp. Oh, it was like twenty euros, yeah. which is like what is that? Twenty five bucks? Three oh shrimp shit! And what the fuck? Three sh three fucking shrimp, and by the way, they don't even fucking uh, take the veins out. They don't take the head off. Oh, oh. Jesus! Whole Christ. shrimps. This what the low fuck? Work. Low work. The yeah. pasta was way overcooked. I mean, it was terrible. Jesus it was awful. Christ. And also, it was Italian food in fucking Greece. So. This, is, this is what I like to call a tourist trap. Yeah. It was. You're in, it was. Big tourist Instagram trap. fashion. First, he's paying yes. for the ATV license. Right. Then, Dude, he's going to this walked, tourist trap. They walked into all of these just Sounds like you traps. are an right. Instagram model. Right. No, we, it was a complete trap. So, right. I'm pissed off. I, I, that's when I was like, okay, these idiots are fucking way gone. <laughs> 
They're, they're, they're not here for vacation. They're here for likes and all this kind of shit. So then flash forward, whatever, Mykonos, it kind of ends in a, in a fizzle. Like, I mean, it's, it's not that great. We go, uh, then we have like a whole new slew of traveling to do. Uh, we get to Barcelona. So yeah, we, we, we're flight. going back. Uh, no. Two flights was to it? Barcelona. Was it? I don't actually remember. It was one, one flight. flight okay. It was one flight to Barcelona. And, um, I, I was welling again. I remember that. Oh my God. The worst shit on earth. This welling company. So we get there. Oh, um, right. yeah, it's like the spirit. Yeah, of, yeah. yeah. Right, right. We get to, we get to Barcelona. Now we are there for three days. Um, we get to the hotel. So now, uh, God damn it. I don't even like Barcelona. At, at the end of this, I, I, I don't want to go back. I, it, it sucked. I didn't wow. like it that much. Okay. It's a weird culture there. They don't like tourists. It of seems, course. Um, there's the Catalan people who are like dicks. They're just dicks. Like, fuck, fuck you. Fuck okay. you. I'm not going back and I don't care. Fucking right in. I, I don't like you and fuck like, off. Are we talking dicks on like the level of like Philadelphia or are we talking just like. No, I, I'm stronger than Philly dicks. Whoa. I feel like Philly. Usually, stronger than Philly dicks. I feel like Philly usually has like a meaning behind them being assholes. Like, Sometimes. okay, let's say, let's say sports fans, okay? Right. Mm-hmm. Sports fans, they are very knowledgeable fans of the sport right. and when the teams do terrible they let them hear it so i respect that hate true mm-hmm. but that's like honest hate yeah right yeah whereas it fan. sounds like the catalans were just like assholes they're dickheads yeah. fake hate. they're fucking dickheads yeah. they're they live in a major city uh in europe and they get pissed when people show up like lucky bitch like spain <laughs> took over and and this is like the last remnant of your fucking society so get over it get over it yep yeah, we're here now, all right? You, <laughs> we're here now. We've been globalized, yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, losers. Anyway, so <laughs> so then they uh, – they um, uh, we're, we're playing cards. I'll give you an example of like how, how they're dicks. We're playing cards. It's like 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. We're playing cards uh, on the porch. It it's okay. not even that, yeah, right? Yeah, it was Go like on. probably like 5.30. 5.30, all right? Big playing di- cards. Big difference. Big difference. It is. <laughs> Nothing's going on, and so we're we're playing cards pretty quietly for us. I mean, we're a loud group. Oh, right, we're, Danny. We're, is, we're, you can tell we're Danny's yeah, 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 we're enough. yeah, we're we're not we're not being loud. Right. And this guy, like, so we're like, imagine a patio, and then there's a building next to us. It's taller. The guy comes out on his porch and he starts yelling. He's like, "Yo, hey, uh, keep it down, down. Like, too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it down." <laughs> and that's a direct quote, by the way. Like, pretty much. Okay. And we're all like, "What the fuck just happened?" So, you know, and that was like the first day we got there. So I'm thinking eh, it's a one off. Right. As we just go around the city, just like they're just dicks. They, they just don't like tourists. As as soon as they pick up that American accent. I was going to say, I bet you they yeah. just hate anyone that's a loud as, American. Yep, and they're just yep. like, ah, fuck you. Yeah. As, I mean, as, as, like the second you fucking, you, you, they, they know that you're an American or, or a, a foreigner, you're, you're done. And, um. And then the other thing about Barcelona, which was weird, is we could go to the Gothic Quarter. Cool place, but, like, I mean, as soon as fucking night comes out, I've never experienced this in my life. This was weird as fuck. So you need backstory. Okay. When we're exploring, we're having a good time, right? Well, not really, but when, back when we were, like, there for the day, people kept coming up to us and saying, like, hey, uh, uh, coffee and smoothies. Like, do you want? <laughs> I heard us. So I have no idea. I'm so interested. I know I know immediately it's some crazy underground shit. Coffee smoothies, coffee smoothies. Like, we're hearing, hearing it all over the Gothic Quarter. Okay. And in uh, Las Ramblas, which is, like, kind of next to it, okay. uh, the Gothic Quarter. We have no idea what the fuck it is. We, we leave Barcelona, we come back. We're like, all right, we got to figure it out. At least know what it is. <laughs> some secret code here. Yeah, it sounds like lingo. Yeah, it's, I, yeah, right, right. Can I take a stab? Yeah, go ahead. So I, I, I don't know if, if he told me fully. Mm-hmm. I think... Yeah, was it like Coke and something? Yeah, it's Coke and something else. I don't know the other one. I forget. Well, anyway, so we we um, I mean, I guess I kind of ruined the story. But oh well. I mean, <laughs> we're we're like trying to figure out what's going on. So then, so it's very late at night, and we're out in the town. We're in Las Ramblas, and um, they, I mean, now we're getting it a mile a minute. Is it because you, you're coffees. from the United States, you think? I think so. Like, we're kind of being rowdy. We're a little drunk. I was going to say, I know foreigners love Oh, drugs, yeah. Right, right. Especially so, Americans. Coffee smoothies, coffee smoothies. Facts. It gets late enough where they, they drop the fucking the code. Uh, now they're just saying weed and coke. Weed and uh, coke, weed, weed yeah. coke, weed coke. It gets weirder, though, because then now we're getting offers for, like, um, hey, like, look, like, free shots. First round of shots are on us. All you got to do is get in this limo. We'll drive you to the club. Whoa. Weird fucking oh, yeah. shit. Yep. Peter's told me some st- stuff about like uh, Georgia. 
where they just lure you in. They right. make it, yeah, yeah, they yeah, make yeah, it yeah. seem like you're getting free drinks. They keep giving right. you drinks. Yep. Then they give you a bill at the end for like three thousand dollars, and they, they won't let you leave. Right. right. And then you get arrested. Right. Mm-hmm. And then you can't leave the country. So right. it's like, yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, and that, we were getting berated by these fucking requests. Like we're like, all right, look, we don't want coke, we don't want fucking weed. We just want to go home at right. this point, really. Um, and and really, at the end of the day, because I don't want to keep going about it. It was the vacation was essentially the fucking ruined because it ended up being planned by an Instagram guy who wanted to you know get likes and and, and things like that. And it, like, all right, here you want you want to sum up the? I have a quote to sum it up. All right, let's hear. It. We were um, we were um, it was me. It was me in the in the in the the Instagram faction, and um, I, I'm kind of just minding my own business. I think we're actually walking around Barcelona and um. They're, you know, they're, they're, I mean, it's like a fucking drug. They're, they just got to post. They got to post. They got to say something. They got to make their captions and shit. And so, um, uh, Bob, Bob, Bobby's getting pissed off. Bob Barker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they're, they're, um, they're not, uh, uh, goddamn these fucking code names. Uh, Fred. Fred, Fred. Thank Fred you. Fred and Bobby. Fr- Fred and, uh, Ryan or something. Ryan. Ryan, Fred. I think I said Robert. It was Freddie and Robert. Freddie yeah. and Robert. We've been they got a better up. connection. They got a better connection, and they can post faster than than Bobby can keep up. Ah. So, so now Bobby's getting a little, you know, red in the face, and he nah. goes, he's getting pissed off, <laughs> and he goes like, "Look, I can't, I can't post any of this if you guys keep going. I mean, I, I can't post the same pictures that you guys are taking." I'm like, "What the fuck? You're in the same place. How are you gonna have a different picture?" Right? Like, yeah. <laughs> like you're not even in the moment. Like, you're so disconnected. You're not even sharing a moment with your friends in a right. foreign country. Exactly. You are so lost. I, 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 When I heard that, I was like, okay, this is pathetic. I mean, completely and utterly pathetic. Yep. That's bad. Yeah, so. And then and then I got back, and now I have fucking diarrhea. I, I couldn't stop fucking coughing. Yeah. I was mess. sick as shit. Yeah, I was So terrible. living in the house with all of the people, like, or some of the people that were on the trip with you, mm-hmm. is it like you're trying to avoid each other for the next couple of days? And Pretty much. And, yeah. and this guy bailed. He fucking, he was out. I mean, right. I mean uh, as soon as that fucking plane landed in Philly, fucking gone. And nobody saw him again. <laughs> Did he take a different Uber than everyone else? He's like, oh, no, 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 no. I think Robert fucking drove him home or something cool yeah because he, he came here for a little yeah and went back to uh, and, uh, the house i mean honestly like after all that i mean i i, I think we're all still cool like i don't think anybody i'm has sure a you are yeah, yeah. 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 i wish i wish fred had gotten sick just so that he could we could rub it into him yeah a right more. yeah yeah damn yeah he's a, one Fuck person you, you know never gets sick right. and you're like damn it right yeah god fred. damn it fred yeah. fred you piece of shit, piece of shit. Uh, you know his, his name fits in there real well when you oh, yeah. substitute it right oh yeah 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 filthy mother <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. so that's the end of your Spain trip? That's pretty much it. Yeah. It was um it was it could have been better. Yeah, of yeah. course. Could have been better. Sam, you want to get into your first kind of Also I'm noticing that you're both rocking the Teddy Fresh. Oh yes. yeah. So yes, we are. Teddy Fresh. Great brand. Hmm. And guess what? Not merch. No, it's apparel. Not. It's just some nice apparel, you know, some Teddy Fresh apparel. Shout out H three H two Productions and the Ela Kleiner. Didn't they have a pop up store? They uh, the did with uh, uh, Rip and Dip. I don't know. It was a collaboration. Right, he said the same thing. I'm Isn't like, that a fucking candy? Collaboration? No, it no, it's not. They did some good stuff. I saw it. It was in New York. Uh, they have, like I cats think. and shit. Mm. It was in New York. <laughs> Whatever. Cats? Sure. Danny actually met them on the train with Tyler. Yeah. Or we ran Tim, into them Ted. when they were living in New York. <laughs> Twat. Wow. <laughs> Huh? What? <laughs> I said Tim, I'm Ted, Twy. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We uh, we haven't run into them in, on on the subway. I think That's it was their cool. anniversary or something like that. And, like, wow. Yeah, we had just. That's interesting. It was. I, I even remember the period because we we had a conversation about it. Where like because I don't remember he lost his beanie. Remember oh this? really? Like way back in the day. Oh he lost yeah, his yeah, yeah, yeah. We we joked that we were like we should just buy a beanie in case we run into him. Yeah. We didn't do it, and we actually ran into them. That's <laughs> fucking crazy. Oh man. Damn. Pretty, Pretty positive, positive. I was, I was wearing a beanie. Were you pretty, pretty positive? Huh. Weird oh, that you even brought it up. Go. Like brought it up though. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, like what? that. That you guys brought up bring like getting a beanie. Oh, getting a beanie. Yeah, yeah that's, I know. That's cool. We should have almost yeah. as coincidental as Cube World announcing a huge oh, launch, Jesus. which we haven't so, even brought so up we, yet. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the show on this one. Go for it. <laughs> My game. Yeah, his um, fucking favorite game he's ever played in his entire life. So we brought it up on the podcast last time. I think Danny was here for that one. Mm-hmm. So we brought up just Cube World, like the game in general, how it hasn't been anything done with it in six years or something. Right. And all of a sudden, like, I think it was three hours later. Yeah. It, like was, it was actually it was, three hours later. It was later. Right at, almost right after we were done recording and, like, had all yeah. gone home. Official mm-hmm. announcement that it was made on Steam after six years of just 
nothing. Mm -hmm. So this the game has a beta key that came out for the 23rd, which was two days ago. Yeah. Uh, so I can play it now, yesterday. which is nice. So I've been mm -hmm. playing. A um, lot of weird changes. Uh, I hope there's some cool updates. Seems right. like they're already starting updates, which right, is right. good. They do have to fix a lot, but I'm excited. It's going to be a good game. 30th, it will come out for everyone else. 30th. Yeah, but it's just weird that it came up and six years later, all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah anyone who has already purchased the game, like, so when it was first available for purchase, you could buy it, um, and people could, uh, unfortunately, like, share accounts. So, like, only one yeah. of your friends had to buy it, and then everyone else could just log in with the same info, and everyone could play on the same account with different characters, different pro, and, like, all play together. Mm -hmm. Now, it's set up so that when, like, if you purchased it back then, you're the only person who's in right now for the next week until the 30th when it goes live for everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, so since it's through like Steam servers and it's like for different accounts and all yeah. that. Um, he actually, I learned some information from last time. I, I was like pissed off that he never released anything, but I found out that he actually was like depressed and it was because someone DOSed the servers when he first launched the game. Yeah. So it, ma it made him get all like messed up from it and get all stressed out. Mm -hmm. So he was secretly working on the game like privately with him and his wife. Yeah, his the wife's the other, the other developer. So he just never released anything to the public and just worked on the game and then finally launched it on Steam so there wouldn't be wow. any server problems. Yeah. So it's like, I would honestly say it's like reworked. Like, yeah, right? it's a totally different game. Yeah, It's not XP based anymore really, uh, similar, off killing mobs. Yeah. It's more lore based. It's like similar concept but different uh, different actions of way, of like the way you go about the you game. You progress, yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally it's, it's, different. I, love the, I still love the fighting style though. Like Me too. How you fight. I like, I'm actually like as... Uh, we've been playing it. It's like very, very, very rocky to start. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, really hard. And once you get past that huge stepping stone, it, it seems to like be the actual game that you were looking forward to. Yeah, right. Exactly. So it just takes that that big chunk of like. Well, they need to fix the multiplayer stuff though, where you have to like to meet up with each other. Right. Like, there's, there's, you spawn there's like a million miles away. You can still fly to each other, but it doesn't save like a lot. It's weird. In it's, short, there's yeah. bugs. So. Yeah, a lot of bugs. Yeah, sure. Wow's going well. Update on that. Uh, you need to play more. But that's you Look, know man. you're recovering. It's I'm recovering. Cancel my membership. Yeah, a lot of right. that, a lot happening, a lot of shitting. So right, a lot of shitting. It's understandable. Look, when I come back, I, I'm telling you, it's so gonna be, gonna be stronger. something the world's never seen. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm excited. So, um, quick question for you. Yeah. Since you haven't seen any of the changes we've made until today. Yeah. yeah. What do you What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, it looks it looks fucking clean. I mean, we we got the lights, and so not that anybody could see it, but right. <laughs> You it seems tell, like they, they help to an extent, right? They yeah. can tell that the production got good. better. Yeah, yeah I was um, gonna say you get, like we up the production level a lot, right? For yeah, sure. Uh, I like the the new cameras; they're looking pretty nice. This new screen that nobody can see—it's a lot of back end stuff, right? Yeah, it is. It looks it's, help it's us out a little bit better. Stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of back end stuff, but it looked good. Right. We're still like we're still fixing stuff. The casting yeah. couch yeah. behind. Right, <laughs> that's the best yeah, part. It's good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Adding it in. Yeah. Good. 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 Uh. Look at that plastic piece just hanging out on the other. What are we doing? Yeah. Slob. <laughs> Pathetic. It's fixed. Pathetic. Yeah. Easy, all good. easy fix. No worries. I know. We got our pops. I didn't even see the pops. Oh, yeah. We didn't actually mention these at all because uh, Danny wasn't here. So uh, we all just talked about getting these pop figures, each of us, that represent kind of us. Just favorite characters. Yeah, you just, know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I got Post Malone. He's a man. Mm -hmm. uh, holding a beer and a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Interesting man. Very unique. And then uh, Sam has Naruto. Or yep, Naruto. Naruto. I don't know how. Area 51. I don't Raider. want to offend anyone right. here. Naruto, yeah. uh, the prodigy <laughs> the run. of running. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch any anime, so can't really relate to that. Mm -hmm. And then obviously, you know, Darth Vader at the Darth end. Darth Vader. Oh, yeah. Easy choice. The father himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. So I'm going to get Good in, choices. I want to get into the first thing I want to talk about. All right. Uh, kind of just some updated sports news. Wait, I got to say something. Oh, go about for About the it. pop figure. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, okay. go sorry. We can't have too many pop figures. I don't want to be no. creeps. Right. Know? No, one for Dude, each of us. I was thinking Thank you. The same I'm glad. <laughs> when we first got it's on, creepy. It's Troy, a creepy Troy thing. Troy was like, we should buy a lot of them. At yeah. first, he was like, Do you no, no, no. It wasn't, even, it wasn't even like we should buy a lot. He was like, ooh, do you think we should buy this one? He was like, oh, look how cool this one is. He was like looking at a lot. And I was like thinking to myself, I'm like, how about we just pick out one for each of us? And that way it's. I think it would have been really cool if we did a custom them figure for each guest we had that'd be crazy that'd be but sick. i don't think see it There's would no like, way we do that it, eventually i would say at some point we have upwards of like 30 guests yeah it's true. Mm -hmm. right give it 150 episodes we have at least 30 guests yeah, that right. takes yeah, up a whole lot of fucking <laughs> arms don't even recognize them just like arms the on the I'd, rather, yeah. I'd, rather, I'd rather have other memorabilia spread about this in right. order to, to like i agree show off pictures or something you can hang on the wall here posters i was thinking posters coming yeah yeah good idea yeah so so i'm gonna inform danny about this uh story really because i know danny you're not really too into sports or football or whatever no, sure. yeah. what's, what's your favorite sport out of anything if you could watch something 
Uh, football. Football. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is a football topic. Oh, okay. there we um, so we're, this <laughs> one I didn't bring. I didn't bring this one up on the screen here, but yeah. uh, we're this guy Antonio Brown. Okay. So, I, uh, I know him. You know Antonio yeah. Brown? Oh, yeah. Really? So you know any of the story? I know the yeah. story, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to go over a little bit what happened. Mm-hmm. Be inform you a little more sure. if you don't yeah, know yeah, the whole story. Yeah, yeah, please do. Please do. So he started out on the Pittsburgh Steelers with uh, Ben Roethlisberger as quarterback. Mm-hmm. Uh, he started not participating in a lot of team uh, practices and just events. So he kind of distanced himself from the team. Then they ended up, I think, releasing him. I don't, I don't remember if they traded him. I, I'll have to double check. But he left the, the Pittsburgh Steelers, went to the Raiders, okay? So he was in the Raiders for before the season even started. So it was off season only. Mm-hmm. Was on the Raiders before the first game even started. There, he gets in a huge fight with the general manager. Mm-hmm. Gets kicked off the team, right? He, nice. he threatens to punch. The yeah, guy. he threatens just, to punch the guy. Just so we're on the, 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 okay. the same yeah. level of understanding of like this guy's kind of uh, crazy, not stable. Yeah, right. definitely not he th- stable. He threatens to punch the general manager in the face. Yeah, I think it was general manager. Okay. Um, <laughs> So he's kicked off that team, didn't get his guaranteed money. So that was mm-hmm. what he was lo- really looking for, his guaranteed money. Because right. I think all he cares about is money at this point. If you watch his Instagram stuff, he's, I think that's safe he's just a fucking asshole. I'll, straight up. Yeah. Piece of shit. Um, then the savior team, the New England Patriots, who saves every person from their doom, yep. uh, they signed him. Uh, I think they gave him some money guaranteed. I think it was like $10 million or something Yeah, it was, it was, like that. It was $10 million guaranteed. Yeah, I think somehow they waived it, though. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll double-check that. Hmm. I'm, I'm almost positive they somehow worked around it because of some new allegations so he was on that team for a couple of days and then allegations came out that he uh sexually assaulted someone he was on their he was on their team long enough to play in a game mm-hmm. he and played in one game right yeah played one game had a touchdown pass so he's a great player i mean he's ridiculous he's but. debatably one of the best wide receivers in the whole league right yeah now. Mm-hmm. fairly debatable either like right top top three easily yep okay um so then the new england patriots just got rid of him so he's been on three teams in the last year, pretty I much. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even say they got rid of him. He they were forced to release him because the NFL investigations have now taken over what's going on with him. I think I think the they got like information from the back end that they're gonna do something to him. Sure, so that's I'm probably sure, why they. I mean, got the rid NFL could have straight up been like, "Hey, we're starting an investigation on this player." Yeah. You do what you want. So wait, with they that. think that like, right, that he was just money and he wanted out or. What do you mean? Uh, I, 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 what are the allegations? I, I, I zoned out. I'm sorry. So yeah, what are the allegations? Um, I think he was what? He was sexual assault. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Sorry. I sexual assault on his yeah. girlfriend. Sexual assault. Okay. So Classic my th- NFL my thing move. is with this guy. I feel yeah. There's a lot of guys in the NFL. That's my yeah, thing. It's, so dude, it's coming. It up. seems like there's these so athletes have just either their egos have exploded or a lot of football players maybe head injuries. Just they're fucking crazy, right. dude. Yeah, like CTE something is something that we, I think we're gonna learn about being like. Very wild. It's gonna, the sex we're, button. We're, no, no, no. no right. <laughs> <laughs> it breaks yeah, right. the sex button. Yeah, right. Like you know, it's oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's whoa, it's kind of like uh, time to fuck. We're going <laughs> to look back yeah. and we're going to be like, why were people allowed to play football? Right. Yeah, it's fucked. Like I mean, people are dying now in like their, their late 40s who are like retired professional football players. And we're mm-hmm. like, their brains are pretty mushy. Isn't it, isn't it super weird how we get so much satisfaction of watching people just hurt each other? Like UFC, it's a brutal bo- sport. Yeah, UFC yeah, boxing, yeah. Yep. football. It's like we're and literally uh, watching NHL. people just kill I mean, each other. What the yeah, fuck? It's NHL's crazy. not as Hockey's... bad. They're not as bad anymore. They're a lot of padding, like but not you, much you hitting. You can fight. That's still, part of the rules yeah, to fight. You can still fight. But you can still fight, but it's they barely let you they fight now. They lose teeth all the they time. They barely let you fight now, dude. It's like oh, man. annoying. I heard about this cool ass fucking story about um sorry, totally derailing your thing, but like um what the fuck do they call him? I was on the Joe Rogan podcast. Sorry, great guy. Uh, Don't be sorry. He's the, the Flyers. Awesome like I, so, uh, I, you actually probably know about this uh, back there. The Flyers had like a team of like Broad the, the Broad yeah, Street yeah, Bullies. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Broad what Street a Bullies. crazy story! Oh my god, that's, they just that's beat that's the shit up. They, just, they just intimidated the fuck right. out of people until yeah. they just wouldn't want to play. It's pretty crazy. Damn. There was there was a team that wouldn't come out on the ice for the for the second period because they were like they didn't want to play them. They yeah. were scared. Fuck. They were getting hit. I actually have met multiple Damn. of the Broad Street Bullies. What year is that? Is that the 70s or 80s? Uh, 70, when they win. Yeah. They won 77, 78, I think they won, or 78, 79. I forget. But it's, it's one of those two. Yeah. I, they I won back to back. I think it's 78, 79. Yeah, I think so too. Damn. But uh, I met Bernie Perrant like a couple weeks ago. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah cool dude. Did like, you run into him? Or? No, no. I was at an event for my work that like, oh. all the Flyers were there. And oh, he's like, nice. he like, it was like a golf event, and mm-hmm. he doesn't golf. He just hangs out and smokes cigars, and has women like hanging all over him. And he's like older. He's an older Damn. guy. Yeah. Like, he is. He is like <laughs> grade one pimp. Like yeah. he is so cool. Damn. Funny dude too. Yeah. So I got to talk to him for a little bit. That's awesome. Yeah, super nice guy. A lot of those fires guys are 
good dudes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They're very different than most athletes, it seems. I've met a couple other athletes before. Mm-hmm. They're just like chill. They don't. They're not like they don't act like they're famous or professionals. Right. They're just like eh, whatever. Right. I'm golfing. So this uh, this uh, uh, what's his name? Antonio Brown. Yeah. Antonio Brown. Yeah, he's a fucking asshole. So all right, so isn't he on the Eagles or something? Was no. he? No. He's, he's oh. currently not on any team. And he said he's quitting the, the NFL. Investigations. And he's quitting the out- He NFL. said he's quitting the NFL. Right. He's also the same guy who freaked out about his helmet when he was on the Raiders on off season. They um. Ooh. Oh. The um, so the, they, the high quality podcast. Folks. Right, right. He, <laughs> Things falling apart. Everywhere. Plastic in the background. Fuck this. He was at a point where he was like yelling to everyone, like, "I'm gonna retire. I'm done with the NFL," because he couldn't find a helmet that he thought was like comfortable enough. They have over like what 40 options of helmets that are approved by the NFL right now, and mm-hmm. he couldn't choose one, and he was considering retiring because of it. He's just a fuck. He's a fuck. I don't know if you know anything about that, but like everything I've seen on like, his Instagram, like. When he got signed in New England, yeah. it was a picture of him with like a bunch of money around him, like on his Instagram, like an animated picture, uh-huh. like him like sitting in money. I'm like, fuck this guy. Like, is it good? The picture? No, I like him. Is he good at the game? He's oh yeah, he's great. Great oh, player. Right. Well, but he's still a fucking he's, asshole. He's, he's you don't see be- LeBron James or anything doing that. Big LeBron James fan, by the way. All right, like how? I mean, how good? Like top in receiver of- in the league. Okay, well then you get to be a dick. No, that's not. No, yes. okay. You get to be a dick. Yes. You get to be a dick, but not to the point where you're getting kicked off multiple teams in the same year. Right. Because now no one wants him. Right. If you're walking that's, around. Well, that's on him, but. Because he's a dick. Like, Gordon Ramsay's <laughs> exactly. a dick. And he's no, the best chef. Gordon like, Ramsay's different. Gordon Ramsay has a higher standard to him. He is a dick, but a respectable dick. Yeah, fine. He's not Antonio really Brown's good. not even yeah. respectable. You also like, know what the I fuck he's yeah, talking right. about. I would love if Gordon Ramsay yelled at me. I'd be like, I'd be like, Gordon, just keep yelling. Gordon, Gordon Ramsay knows what the fuck he's talking about. Right. Antonio Brown is complaining about a helmet. He's just well, yeah, he's not right. getting enough money. Right. You're just being a piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. Big difference. You're not you're not being like It's hey, like Gordon saying, I'm never making food anymore because the knife's not sharp enough. Like yeah, some right. bullshit right. like that. Yeah, you're can't not, find the fucking knife. <laughs> right, right. You're not like if he was if he was making like an outstanding play and not getting like credit for it, or like they they kept like fucking with yeah. him by like being like, Hey, he's not in bounds, but you know, like fucking with the actual rules. Yeah. And then it's like bad on him. Sure. Yeah. Then he's allowed to be a dick. But, like, he's just complaining about random shit, money, his helmet, the GM. Yeah, what right. Could the GM he said that they, he said said the owners have too much control after he got, left, got kicked off New England. They literally control the They own the, the team. teams. What the, what is, how much more control do you think they, they, they like, could have? They have the biggest risk involved in the companies. They have the most money invested. Like, they right. are the owner. It makes no sense. They, they can make rules. There's an association. Like, the owners, they come together and make rules with the organization, with the NFL. Yeah. Mm. The basketball's done way better. The basketball has its own players association where they actually the owners meet with the players and have a big like private meetings with them. Right. So they can come to agreements to make it fair for the players and the, the owners and the coaches. Right. So that's why there's usually no problems in the NBA besides the lockout year, which was a while ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, it's it's really fucked up the NFL right mm. now. Yeah, and a but... big reason behind why it's so fucked up is because injuries are so much more common in the NFL than NBA. It's like, right. why would you make more guaranteed contracts when in the NFL you could snap your ankle tomorrow and you're fucking worth nothing? Right. right. Like There's... Saquon got hurt. He's not, thank say, God yeah. he's not like destroyed. Saquon mm-hmm. Barkley is one of the best running backs in the league. Mm-hmm. Honestly, the best running back in the league. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And much. he's his second year in the league. So he's a young kid who's like a fucking animal. He just hurt his Just ankle. sprained his ankle, but like, he, he, has, he didn't get his big contract yet. He got a $22 million signing bonus, but he's going to be signing a $50, $60, $70 million contract probably or more. Is that what they said? He sprained it? Sprained, yeah. That's even worse though. Why? Apparently breaking your ankle is better uh, because like the healing, you just get surgery. Uh, right, and right. Sprains faster. are likely to happen over and over. Yeah, some but, sprains. You know, not I mean good. like Saquon's also like absurdly strong. Oh my God, he's a freak of nature. Yeah. So. He's the LeBron James of NFL. Like, right. Physically. He's already been injured more times, but whatever. Well, I guess actually one no, and one. No, they both got yeah, both got injured once. One and one. Yeah, mm. But he's way younger, Saquon. Yeah. LeBron's got injured once Hard in like 18 prepare. years. So, yeah, crazy stuff. Wild. Yeah, that was just a quick sports thing. And then one other thing I had I'm going to bring up on the screen here uh, is just a quick one. Kawhi Leonard. Oh, yeah, who, his sister. His sister uh, is the getting charged. Lady. Right. Yeah, is, is accused of murdering an 84-year-old <laughs> woman at a casino. Um, really sexy beard, I'd say. Yeah, look at that's that. That's how it's I grow fresh. my beard. That's, it's fresh. It starts right here. I, I, swear, yeah. I have it right now. Little horns. Yeah, little horns. Yeah, so that's um, that's Kawhi Leonard's sister. Uh, sh- it's unreal, dude. I, I don't know. Do you think Kawhi's not taking care of her or something? Like, I'm sure something happened with them because she's at a casino I don't think killing like someone. A crazy like story behind it. I think it's just like well, psychopath sister. It looks like Kawhi, but just like 
really ugly. Well, what did she do? <laughs> what did she do to this? She was this, robbing her. This is also allegedly. She was robbing her. Yeah, accused, of course. Oh, but I mean, okay. well, that's pretty. I mean, there's pretty big accusations for killing an eighty. It's easy to kill an eighty-four year old, though. Yeah, I'm Obviously. just saying. That's a uh, really valid it. point. I didn't you think know what about I'm saying? that. It's easy to kill an 84. I really didn't think about that. That's Tripper. it's really Could have been like, oh, up. fuck. Right? <laughs> Get the <laughs> fuck out of the way. <laughs> Run with the money, and then they trip over and they're dead. Think about, like, you could have spilled a drink, and they right. slipped on it, and their right. whole back's broken. Right. Dead. <laughs> right. Paralyze them. Paralyze them. They're fragile up. sacks fucking of done. meat. What yeah. the fuck? They are. I mean, it's a fucking 84, man. That's a, sorry, that's a high number. Look at about, the, the picture on the screen. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. It's like they're right here with us. <laughs> we could also... Uh, we could go right into just old people in general. Because I, I really want to rant about these old people. Oh, we, wait. We're, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, so, <laughs> so the biggest topic that comes up is like getting mad at old people and the way that they drive. It's hard. It's, oh, yeah. So like, I think the easiest solution is just set up a plan... Where older people, o- older, uh, the older society of like seventy plus. Nah, I get a little older. You think older than seventy? Yeah. My my grandparent, my grandmother drives great. Sure, if she, dr- but here's the catch. Here's why I say there's 70. exceptions. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of seven year olds who like are just shit drivers. Yeah. Period. Oh yeah. My, mind you, there's also a lot that are fine, decent, average drivers. Right. Those people should have no issue passing another driver's test. Well, yeah. yeah, they do that right? for like really old people. Though, like my great grandmother lost her license when she was ninety six years old. But you old. have to like lose <laughs> your Christ. license. Ninety yeah. six. Yeah, it's imagine ninety five year old just going around just driving however they oh, want. Yeah, right. <laughs> they know, they yeah. suck. They're causing accidents by going too slow. They're like stopping before they merge onto a highway. And right. the worst part is technology is getting so advanced that it's really hard for someone of that age to want to get a backup camera or want to get something that's supposed to help them with safety reasons. Yep, because they're too confused and overwhelmed by Yeah, which I understand, but at the same time, it's like you're – it's not watching out for your own safety only. It's watching out for other people's safety. I almost like, don't understand it. Yeah, I was, at, I was at work the other day, and I was with someone in the car, and we're parked in a spot. I'm just looking over, showing them some cool stuff about the car. All of a sudden, boom, we get hit. Some old lady just backs right into us. No, didn't even look behind her. I, we're in the biggest car we make. It is a standard third row giant SUV. She's in a tiny red Cadillac straight back into us. Mm-hmm. Not, not even a flinch. Just right into us. And then doesn't even – I get out of the car. I'm like, yeah. hey, ma'am, you okay? Like, she looks at me. What, what's going on? Yeah, I'm like, I, no, that's, I'm no, like, that's what do you the mean part that's nuts. You just hit me. Right. I'm like – not you. Are you okay too? Just sits there, looks so lost. I'm like, I'm gonna grab my manager. Okay. She's like, what's going on? Yeah, right. Like, what's on. going on, Shani? You just hit me. It's like, all right. There's a great video of this exact thing. I I hope we can find. It. I'm gonna describe it, Tyler. Try to find this. It's so good. You're on the job. Because all right. So, it's these. I it might be fake because it's so good. I'm fucking drooling. It's so good. All right. It's these. All right. So it's these two old people. Right. They're driving around in like a warehouse setting, and it's just like it's like a, a dash cam video, right? right. Yep. Oh, ha- having like an old lady conversation with both of them, mm-hmm. right? And um, they uh, they're driving around and they they're lost. They're like, oh, the Denny's isn't around here or whatever, right? Okay, so um, they those like I don't know if you've ever seen those pits where like um, that uh, trucks will back up into. So that way oh. the trailers are level. Right, right. Um, they drive right into it. Oh. Crash. <laughs> Bang. Like, I mean, it is it, like their car is like this at this point. Oh, They're fucking, I'm spitting everywhere. I'm spitting all over this fucking Clean mic. Clean yourself up. I know. I'm a mess. involved candle supply. Potentially. Oh, that's it. That is it. Yep. Okay. We got to watch this shit. I yeah, mean, this is volume. nuts. We don't have our volume set up for it. They don't volume. Oh, fuck. We, we were gonna. We didn't set up our. Uh, Damn. You show the What's, video. Just give us, give us a short run. Well, like they, we still show the video. The, yeah, yeah, show the video. Show the video. The, oh my god. I mean, it's like just use the no scene. good help anymore. Jesus Christ. It's just the other way. Can, can we always just uh, cut and then? Sure. Watch this. I, I will try to narrate this yeah. for. Well, no, I don't want to. Well, I'm gonna be listening to it. Okay. Yeah. It's like they don't. They have no idea that what just happened. It's as if they just hit a little fucking uh, bump in the road. I think you're too far. I'm oh, gonna yeah, back yeah. it up. Oh whoa! Well, hold yeah, <laughs> this is fucking nuts. I Welcome. Like yeah, yeah, I know, right? Nice. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Do you think? Wait, so Troy, do you think? Oh, they were, great! They have fucking. Oh. <laughs> Troy, do you think the people, the lady that hit you, was like playing dumb? I think so. I really do. It was bad. She said yeah. it twice. Oh no. 
Look at oh what you telling me they can't see they, that? They, they don't see it. No, no. no the best no. part is like after where are we happens, going? Bang! <laughs> <laughs> what was what that? that? <laughs> what was? Did we hit something? What was that? I don't know. <laughs> It just tore my car up, though. It's like they have no idea. Like the the fucking damage. Do you think they're done. still moving? Yeah. What in the world was that? I, did I just the, don't know. Did the floor fall? It's, it's like, like the, the bottom, bottom came, came out. out. <laughs> just like I was gonna say. It's like, whoa! We just fell yeah, through the right. road. <laughs> this looked like a road, right? <laughs> oh man! That's and it's bad. like they have no idea. These fucking old people are clueless. When shit goes down, they're not gonna know. Mm-hmm. I show people that we it's have nuts. we have this thing called gesture control where you use your hands to like turn up volume or uh, mute something. Mm-hmm. Or you just use a bunch of gestures. You can change the track, and I'll show them. I'll go like this, and the volume will turn up. Or like I'll go, like, I'll try to talk to them, and I'll turn it down mm-hmm. real quick without even like mentioning it. They're like, Yeah, right. Like, What'd you just do? Is right. that a robot? I'm like, What do you? I'm I, like, know. I had to turn the volume down. <laughs> See, so yeah. my uh, hmm. What's the right word when you're like you're really upset about something? It's like a it's like something that hangs off. Sure, it's it's but it's like beyond that. Okay. My so you're my pissed. my pissed off pet peeve <laughs> yeah. of old people. My pissed right. off pet peeve. It's like you ever seen where they're like really intimidated by technology? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I feel All like time. just that thought process of being like, oh, I, I can't do this. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh! What, what is what is all of this? I don't understand. Hard for us to understand it. that we didn't grow up in their time. We're like sure. we're adapting like fucking way too fast. But like or... think about it as like. When you go into a, like a new phone that you had for the first time, you just fuck around with it all the time until you yeah. figure out a bunch of shit. You're like, "Ooh, I can do this. Ooh, right. I can do." Th-. You're not. You're like literally trying to break the phone at some point. They where you're can't like, even find the. Uh, they, what what, do I, do what happens part. if I do this? Right. They don't even want to do that. They're too right. like scared. They're that like they're this just... button two and one and five. They're so convinced the that they're lost before they've even tried that right. they're like, "Oh, I can't, I can't do this." I can't, this yeah, they didn't grow much. up at a time when like you had to figure things out. Like you, you, you read it, like everything came in a readable form. I, you know, maybe you, you you're turn right. on the radio and but it was like, working. Like even yeah. now, like sh- I'm sure their fucking cars come with an instruction manual that tell you how to do all the shit. That's now, true. It's well, funny. A lot of it's fucking... online, and they're like, "I can't do that." Right. Yeah, like they can't fucking now, Google online, something. I gotta get on. You could type it into any part of your web browser and just right. magically your answer will show up I have one person who I hate the most a customer and every time like she goes into her car or something she'll sometimes just turn off bluetooth at her house or something inside because mm-hmm. she doesn't know what it is just turns it off and then every single time she'll just drive over to the dealership won't even attempt to ask anyone drive 15 minutes to the dealership have me come out push the button on her phone and turn the bluetooth back on and leave what the fuck fuck you you bitch <laughs> 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 Fucking figure it out. And and uh, she won't. She only drive manual, which I understand. Like people love manuals, mm-hmm. but like she won't even attempt an automatic. She's like, if there's no manuals in the slot, I will go to the other dealer because I'm not. I'm not buying one. I'm not ordering one. I'm not waiting for it. You have to have a manual here See, and now. They're also just stubborn. They are stubborn. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, stubborn as fuck. Look, they don't want to change their ways. I've been doing this shit for sixty fucking years. I'm not gonna change now. I can't wait. Look, the solution is driverless cars. I am oh, yeah. so excited for it's driverless far, cars. I think it's too far ahead. You think because so? The the biggest gap is that like it's regulation. It's got to be yeah. It's got to be governmented. It's got to be it's got to be regulated by the government to the point where it's yeah. uh, incorporated it's into everything. It already is safe enough. That's not like the problem. It's like the government's so fucking we a, slow. Me and Sam have a little bit of disagreement on this. You haven't uh, ever mm-hmm. heard us talk about this, but. So the one thing I think, I know it's safer than the, the average driver, right? right? It's safer than drivers, and there's less deaths from automatic driving than there are drivers, right? This is where my problem is with it. Say take that 80-year-old woman who ha- is easily able to crash and kill herself into a wall or whatever. Mm, right, right. Then you have me, who is a good driver. When we both go automation, it doesn't, there's no, oh, she could die, I could die. It, there's nothing. There's no skill involved. It's just... If I die by hitting a wall from the automatic system getting messed up, even though it's one in a big chance of it happening, mm-hmm. that wouldn't have happened if I was driving. But it would have happened to her maybe, but since I'm a good driver and I had no choice, I pretty much the computer took over and why, killed me. Why did you have no choice? What do you mean? As of right now, autopilot- If they're full automatically driving cars, is so, what I'm saying. So in other words, I don't think it'll ever, ever get to a point where you wouldn't be able to take over control unless – all of the cars are being synced up to the same Yeah, but program. you can't always react in time to something and take control if you're driving normally on the road and all of a sudden it, hit, it just veers into a median. Like, right. You know what I mean? But like, so if that killed me, that's unfair in the sense that if if I was driving, it wouldn't happen. Even though the average person may be not as safe as I am. Right. Me personally, 
I didn't have a choice there. I just – maybe I could be drunk and make a dumb decision if I was driving and hit a wall and kill myself, but – it shouldn't be an automatic system killing me. You I know think what I mean? The trade-off, That's what you're the yeah. trade-off of yeah. such a small like chance of that happening where it randomly veers yeah, off the road mean, and kills you right. outweighs so many shitty garbage well, how many have died accident so far? causing passengers. How many have died so far from automatic driving? I think like 15 or something I'm and sure. all of test drivers have died from automatic systems to like, be fair though they, they think it's drivers. something that it's not like it's not you can't really go you can't most, fucking fall asleep I, most like, of those people yeah, are of course. the people you who are just saying like, like right. yeah they're on the phone yeah. 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 Right. 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 the very first one the huge one where like the the self-driving didn't uh detect a huge like tractor trailer the guy was ed like falling asleep yeah yeah one of the bad ones was the worst ones i've heard are the are the median ones where it it's following the car in front of it, and the, the one in front of him takes a quick turn without a turn signal, like to get off, to veer off of a highway. Mm -hmm. And the car is following him, but then gets confused because it sees the lane it was right, in is still there. The and then it doesn't know what to do, and it hits the median. So right. that was that's one of the bad ones. But um, I'm sure there's – look like at the stats dude, for the like death. 15? How many fucking motor vehicle know, accidents are is. deadly every fucking day? Probably more than 15. Yeah. That's, dude, that's whack. It is why. If you can save all those lives, like, and on top of that, by the time we get to like full on self driving cars, mm -hmm. we're gonna have fucking the the tunnel. What's the the boring tunnel? Oh yeah, that kind the of shit's gonna take. Yes, Hyperloop. that shit's gonna take off. I actually met one of the head engineers uh, for Hyperloop. Huh. My, yeah, he bought a car from us. It was oh, crazy. Shit. Yeah, dude, no. you listen. You listen to Musk on podcast. He's like, hey, doesn't cost that much to dig a hole. Yeah, but to integrate that into like where it would be effective, like I mean, I guess you'd put that in every major city. Just yeah, and think about it. It's like completely computerized traffic control. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, well, because like I know the hyperloop, you're supposed to get on the sleds, right? Like you're not actually driving in those tunnels. Yeah, well, the the so, wheels are turning, but you're not driving. Right. Like I feel like you could have just made fucking tunnels and put roads in them. Why? Because why? Why have the tunnels when you could have sleds that are faster? Well, because it's more of like an integration issue. Like, like if you had just built road like tunnels and roads in them, then you could have had people using it way more. Because you, you need you need a you need a Tesla to use the sleds. Well, currently, because that's what he's testing with. But I would assume that the final product doesn't require a Tesla. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Fair enough. Right? Why the fuck would he be like, yeah? Oh, by the way, you have to buy a Tesla. I look Everyone's smart. Gonna be like, well, then you can't fucking smart use all those. business, right? Come on, you're gonna apply yeah. to everyone where you're like, yeah, you just drive your fucking. I don't know. Car. I feel like, look, I just want. I don't want a driving. I don't want a wheel in my car. I don't want a fucking pedal. I want, <laughs> I want a giant a fucking it's, relaxing bay th <laughs> that I can just fucking sprawl out, put fucking zucchini in my eye, yeah, and get just, naked, <laughs> yeah, get get to work or something. You know what I'm saying? I actually had yeah. someone from a company like for autonomous or autonomous driving interview me for like their article or something. Yeah, and it seems that the biggest thing is roads. Like the problem is if we do keep people from actually we have people actually driving themselves plus aut autonomous driving or mm -hmm. autonomous driving, then the roads have to be perfect. Like. There can't yeah. be any potholes, things that mess up lines, yeah. because those sensors have to be able to pick up that yeah, exactly. so yeah. perfectly where every car is driving easily by itself, like some Futurama shit in tubes. You, you, know, know, what what I mean? you know what problem solves that? Hmm. A tunnel. Hyperloop. Oh, Jesus. Dude. I mean, you're yeah. right. Yeah, you're There's right. There's no potholes in a fucking tunnel. Yeah, but how many, think about this, how many people are huge car enthusiasts who love to drive cars? I would honestly huge argue hobby. a minority of the, of the population. Yeah, I'm sure, but yeah, but it's still a fuck saying, ton of people. Like, look, sure. so the average. Per, do you love like, driving your car? No. Do you love driving cool cars? Sometimes. Get the fuck out of here. You if, you listen, love driving cool cars. For for the sake of driving the car, sure. Any type of commute, fuck no, absolutely. Oh no, not commute. I'm saying if if for hobby, if you. Yeah, but then go on a track. Who, but people who afford cars, okay, you go on a track, true, but. Just like taking that car out every day if you're someone who wants to buy that car and just go out and have a joy ride. I can just fuck around all the time when I drive. Sure. Right. 95% plus of me driving. I'd honestly argue 99% of my driving is commuting. It yeah, sucks to sucks. every yeah, last right. bit of it. But every if you were someone who could afford like a really nice expensive car, yeah. would you do it? Would you get a car and then enjoy it every weekend or whatever? Just drive out? I would. Life? Exactly. Probably. Look, exactly. I mean, I can't put... And there's a lot of people who do that is what I'm saying. Yeah, but I can't take my fucking boat on the roads either. I got to go to the fucking port, and then I got to go there to the lake, go. and you know what I'm saying? It'd be the same thing. Do you want a thing where you can't control your boat? Uh, well, I mean, now you're talking big money here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying, I had do a you boat want, before. Do you want a ships, water tunnel with the tube? Most big ships, they don't really control the boat, but... Well, they have captains, don't they? Sure, yeah, I think you have, to, yeah, you have to crew up. 
Yeah, but they're yeah. there to make sure that the GPS tracking location and the engines. It's like are fucking still yachts set. and shit. We're not talking about like oh private. Like we're talking consumers. Like, yeah, boats. boats. Like we're not talking about fucking uh, giant party oh, buses. Wait, are we? have you also? Uh, I remember talking with Jack about boating at night. Mm -hmm. All of the boats that go out at night have very nice radar systems, and that's how they go across the bay. That's how they know where they are. They use the GPS radar. They're really and precise. Take their too. ways down mm, the bay. Very precise. Yeah, they're sick. Those people definitely can't fucking see 100 feet in front of them. Like, right, maybe, right. And maybe it is 100 feet get, right in front of them. They're yeah. huge lights, but, like, left and right. Let's hope, yeah, you, right. Don't, let's hope you don't hit a helicopter in the water. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, uh, maybe, right, like, so, maybe that was a reference back to yeah. Sandy. But. So, uh, uh, Hurricane Sandy um, <laughs> in LBI. <laughs> it was a stretch. I'm like, uh, don't worry, dude. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> was, um, yeah. in LBI, our friend's boat was actually on the news. Like, mm. in the background, there's a newscaster, and he's like, is that our boat? Like, yeah, watching the news. Oh, yeah, I remember the story. Yeah, yeah. So um, in the same storm, there's a helicopter in the water, mm -hmm. and uh, they had to put like markers around it because I think someone hit it actually. But yeah, yeah. there's just a helicopter; they can't get it out. Yeah. So there's a bunch there's of a fucking shit helicopter. In the bay. Yep, yeah, a lot so. of shit in the bay. I'm sure hurricanes everywhere that happens. Like, dude, the Bahamas right now. We talked about that. Yeah. Oh, like, they're crazy. fucked. But they're the radars fucked. even the radars even detected that kind of stuff. So. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah sonar, right? They just yeah. Boom. Oh, cool. Yes, sir. Pulse. Interesting. Um, Sam, do you want to get into some of your conspiracy stuff we're going to get into? Cool. You want to hop into uh, conspiracies? Conspiracy conspiracy theories. Ooh. Ooh. Boy. I was going to say the first time I ever heard about conspiracies in general. Go I actually remember uh, a class we had, me and Daniel here with uh, oh, Teacher God. Doan. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I ever heard of was cons uh, chemtrails. Oh, yeah. Oh, so right. if you don't know what chemtrails are, just, just fuck off. Yeah. Um, Don't look outside. Yeah, it's like the yeah. most basic conspiracy. Big lines just chemicals sky. that the government's putting into the air. Right. Big lines. Yeah, protect the ozone. There's tons of other reasons. Could be from planes. Know. Could be from something else. Right. So that's the um, first thing I ever heard of it. I don't, what was your first experience with conspiracy? First ever? I mean, it was either JFK or 9-11. For sure. That's a big one. 9-11, we'll which it. I'll talk about in a bit, is like was definitely the biggest one. Where like, not only did I hear about it and I was like, oh shit, a conspiracy theory. I was like... Oh my God! This makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. I feel like Whereas, all conspiracies can convince you really easily. Sure. I mean, I mean, sometimes me personally, I'm like, there's just no fucking way. But yeah. at the same time, I'm also always just like, yeah, maybe it's possible. Right. I kind of always like to think like, hey, maybe it's possible. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You know? In most I think cases. Flat Earth was my first like, like real like, okay, like here's the facts, kid. Really? And like, oh, man. like so what? Fucking flat Earth, like really? That's yeah. I just as know, a dumb kid, I knew that was bullshit. Yeah, some are some are really cool in the sense that like they have substance behind them, mm -hmm. whereas others like the flat Earth thing. It's like it's so quickly disproven. Mm -hmm. It's like what's the what's the point? I know. Like there's there's like three ways. It's like okay, then why does the sun go up and down? It's right. like oh, it rotates around the. It's like oh, so it's fucking four thousand feet up. Yeah, How right. come our well, planes are thirty five thousand feet up? Conspiracies, like somebody has to be conspiring. Thank you. Right. Right. Uh, right. Flat Earth. Who is winning? Who wins? Flat Earth. Flat Earth. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> They're just like, oh, the government's there. Right. To confuse you. Yeah. Right. It's like, oh no, I'm. Yeah. I'm critically confused. Yeah, now that they think the Earth is circle, uh, we can charge twenty percent more on gas. It's yeah, like, what are you yeah. talking about? What? It's, it's a it's a mess. Yeah. But other ones that are you know crazy like hey, we JF got something here. JFK's oh, okay. assassination. All right. Nine eleven. Big news! I forgot. I didn't tell you guys about this actually. Whew. I hope this has to do with flat Earth. It is flat Earth. All right, let's hear so it. So I was at another work event, and I'm just chilling. It's like a you know those car festivals, yeah, big street, you know, mm -hmm. got the fried Oreos and mm -hmm. bullshit. So there's this person walking around with like a stand. I see like 25 people hovering around this girl, like mm -hmm. a bunch of like, high school kids, right? Oh boy. She has a giant poster, most planned out thing I've ever seen of a flat Earth conspiracy. This I, is the most planned out thing that you've ever seen. Of a flat Earth of a conspiracy, yeah. like a freaking carnival event. I know. <laughs> All right, let me read it for you, Dave. Okay, uh, let's hear it first, then I'll continue. So number one says balloon footage at 100,000 plus feet, high altitude amateur balloon footage with a fisheye lens shows a flat earth whereas ASA pushes the supposed curvature that's nothing more than a GoPro lens effect so if you look at both the GoPro and the regular uh, camera footage I have, a, I have an idea Here. one just shows a flat edge the other just shows the slight curvature whereas you would think that you would be able to see across the entire earth if it were flat right Right. Technically, you keep going up, you could just keep seeing further and further. Let me but show, the, just, let me show them the first picture because I have a camera off. here. Can you push number six, I believe? Of course. There you go. Oh, okay, yeah. look. We got a dot cam. So, I don't know if you'll oh, read it. Oh, wow. I don't think I don't think it'll focus, will it? Oh. Let's see you do. Maybe. 
Look at that. It's pretty close. Take a quick look at that. That's the number one. Mm. We'll go over each one, okay, Sam? Yeah, sure. I'll read them on, then we can maybe we can just go back. Blaze them over. Uh, number two, airplane dips its nose. The FFA assumes the flat Earth assumes flat Earth when training pilots using their target generation facility. <laughs> An airplane traveling 500 miles per hour would have to compensate of a, for a drop of 2,777 feet every minute to maintain cruising altitude and not fly off Sam, into does space. Does she have an Instagram or something that this is on? Is there any? Okay, uh, that, yeah, that assumes that there's no gravity. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. I told her. I'm like, so what are your thoughts on gravity? And like, I wasn't saying, like, I wasn't trying. I was trying to fuck with her a little bit, yeah, but right. I was like, I wasn't saying, oh, there's gravity. I right. said, so what are your thoughts on gravity? Do you believe in gravity or not? She goes, why are you stuck on gravity? I'm like. What? I'm like, I'm just asking you a question. I'm right. literally stuck because of gravity. <laughs> yeah, right. That's why yeah, you're yeah. asking. Wait, let me see if there's any social media. Oh, yeah, out. yeah. We could, is we there social media? Fuck yeah, let's uh, uh, fucking call them out. We're not More plugging proof. them. Flat we're not, Earth. We're not right. plugging shit because these guys you. are retarded. I'm going to plug you. We're plugging I'm going to plug, plug the, the no. just the website. No. Fine. It's absurd. What is the difference between being educated with lies or being uneducated? Nothing. You are just as smart as many college professors. They don't even know they believe the globe lie. The globe lie. <laughs> Do your own study starting with 200 proof videos. Three sources of 200 proofs, book or video. Told you this is professional. How how old was this person? Do you want to see the pamphlet? Yeah, I want to see it. Oh, it's great. Oh, oh probably, let me, can uh, I finish I'll reading see, it? Oh, sorry. There you go. Goodness gracious. 60, not, 65 years old. 65 place. years old, by, by the way. 65 oh, years old. Oh, very old woman. Oh, no. <laughs> what the Dude, fuck? I couldn't believe how many high school kids were fucking with this woman. I, like, at first, I was going to mess with myself, and I felt so bad because they were chasing her, like, <laughs> like yelling and she like going back and forth like arguing I'm like this is insane I'm like I can't believe this is happening right so, now uh, wait quick question what makes you guys think or like what do you think it takes for that lady to, get, to be convinced otherwise I would say lots of black tar heroin and um lots of pills she has 65 years of stubbornness she built will in. never there's, be convinced there's nothing beating that they no. do not ever you'll never convince anybody that believe something like that like we're, we're talking about uh very close-minded we, we were talking about yeah. old people being very stubborn this is 65 years of stubbornness you that's, guys said flat earth and i instantly was like run upstairs yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm like, I have number to get three this. i don't think so the law of perspective greatly prohibits our ability to see far distances uh we tend to believe that from 238,000 plus miles that uh, away we can s make out features on the face of the moon they don't believe that we can make out figures on the face of the moon from how far away we are that's their that's that's number so three what, what does that have to do with yeah what the fuck does that have to do with the flat earth uh the fact that it's it would the moon would have to be significantly closer in order for us to see that level of, of detail what if it's big so well, wait, is the moon what do you mean what if it's big yeah, is the moon flat right like and also that's a good point like, like but it's also like it, it's big the moon right so this is and like how do they explain like you know waning and waxing where it's like clearly a sphere? Oh, they talk about it's like the same way with the sun as it just it circles around. It circles above the earth. Flat like against. Wait, don't they it's so so they say we're the only so, so wait, they say sure, they're, yeah. they're like a dark side of the earth. The underside of the yeah, earth. Yeah, I thought I thought it was the theory that it should it's be like the underside a cone of, of ice underneath us, right? Yep. And then at the edges is where it cusps so yep. the water doesn't Dude, fall off. Yeah, because the number four is water finds its level. Oh, God. Uh-huh. Water always finds its level. If Earth were a giant sphere hurtling through infinite space, then flat-level surfaces would not exist here. But since Earth is, in fact, an extended plane, this physical property of fluids finding and remaining level is consistent with our observations. This person put way too much time in this. Don't you think, like, the world's pretty big? Like, yeah. if you were to throw a puddle... Onto the, like make a puddle on the floor just fuck sure it finds it's level it flattens out but I feel like you do the same thing in a bowl it curves like like the whole Wait, point is that is what like, they meant I thought they meant like if you tip a cup the the water will always be yeah it finds it's level to the earth. I don't even they have a picture of like a lake imagine a lake just being flat water that's what they're trying to say <laughs> oh oh I, I gotcha yeah, this girl was yelling. The lakes are fucking gravity. huge, man. They're, they're dumb. They're dumb people. Right, right. We're trying to logic. I know, right, yeah, yeah, all right. right. Yeah, she she was like yelling at me about gravity. I'm like, I'm not ask, I'm not saying gravity. I'm just asking you a question. Right. Number but five. Whatever. We see too far. It is often possible to see the Chicago skyline from sea level, 60 miles away across Lake Michigan. In 2015, photographer Joshua Nowicki captured this phenomenon. According to the curvature formula, Chicago should be 2,400 feet below the horizon. Does she realize that maybe the buildings are pretty tall? 
in Chicago. And also, but how many hundred feet? Is there a picture of like the? the if, uh, is there a picture is there a of like the twenty four hundred feet photo? tall? Uh, no, no, no. But like, that's that's according to their calculation that it's sixty miles away that it should be that far. Oh. That should be that I don't even far. fucking care about this. Like, it should be like. All I know is when I'm on a fucking plane, I see a curve. So that's so all like, I need. So like, yeah, but right? Yeah. Is that all you need? That's all I need. I mean, I also really prefer the satellite images of our fucking globe. Yeah, that's true too. They, I guess they're sick. all fake. I love, is that? Don't they say they're all fake? Pretty yeah, much. Of course. Yeah. Mm. The government lies to us. Well, that's true. Six but. planes. <laughs> it, it wouldn't just be our government. It would be all government. Right. Everybody's yeah. got to be in on this. Oh, everyone. And every person who joins into government has to be briefed. Right when they get in. Yo. Even though we had a space race. and like, So wouldn't one of us confirm that the other one was lying about the earth being flat at a time when like politically it would be advantageous? Well, that's right. where I, I – like, sorry to derail you guys. No, it's fine. That's, that's kind of where I get with the moon landing. Like wouldn't – the Soviet Union be doing everything they could to disprove it. Disprove it, right. Yeah. yeah. Probably. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, you fucking Americans, you lied. Yeah. Here's the proof. I like the fact that uh, it doesn't like it doesn't matter at the end of the day of the, the moon landing, which is another great conspiracy. But, like, to, the reason why I've never gotten into it of, like, taking a hard stance on either side is because, like, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Because we it, assuming, so say we lied about it, mm -hmm. we're still down in history as the first people to land on the moon, right? Right. Say we actually did it, we're still the first people to land on the fucking moon. Yeah. At the right. end of the day, it yeah, really doesn't change anything. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, and I, you know what? I've actually never I've I've run into flat earthers. Never run into somebody that denied the moon landing. Really? I've heard of it. I I feel like it's like, dude, like I don't know. It seems like it's a dying. Yeah, like people died just testing rockets. Like they think they did it to fuck. I know, around. right? Right. Like oh well. We and they it. succeeded. They're like, no, that wasn't right. real. We just fucking made a fake uh, little wasted millions See, yeah I know we made a house that looked like a moon Stupid. plane Stupid. flights number six the whole set hundreds of flights every day make fuel stops that make no sense on a globe but make perfect sense on a flat earth every flight goes to connecting locations in the northern hemisphere first what I'm not even sure that's true what if like what if you're in fucking southern Texas and you're flying to Brazil you gonna stop Wait, and repeat gonna... it every connecting flight what um, every oh, flight, see that. every flight goes to connecting locations in the northern hemisphere first. I think they mean like, like if you're going to like, um, if you're crossing the hemispheres. Yeah. Right. So if you're in southern Texas, what if you're in Panama, right, right above the the northern, yeah. or like right above the equator? What right. if you're flying from Panama to no, Brazil? They're saying connecting flights, like like I'm going to I'm going to Spain. I have to stop in Germany first. Right. It still doesn't make any sense. No. But. All right. So they're lying to you they're saying just, they're stopping in a certain area? Well, I mean, area? What's, but what's the, what does that prove? Uh, Hundreds of flights every day make fuel stops that make no sense on a globe. They make oh, no sense. a snack break for you guys. Um, remember how we talked about uh, on the Munch Pack, those gummy bears that were terrible? Oh, okay. We need Sorry. to get you on an Adderall prescription. I know, I know right? But this is important. I want to get, I want to get this. Good. Very fresh. important. While they're fresh, you know? But these are fresh ones. No, you can still continue. I'm just going to hand these out. Just, these are the good ones. All right? All right. So continue. Number seven, jet streams. Jet streams on globe Earth versus flat Earth. Which one makes more sense? They have a, a bunch on the globe. They have a bunch of squiggly lines for all of the uh, the jet streams. Whereas on flat Earth, it's just one big line. I okay. think. Like, what about wind? Doesn't wind fuck up these jet streams? Right. I mean, they change with temperature, correct? Damn. Catch on putting out. See. see? You know what's weird? Much better. <laughs> these Good taste, flavors. These taste just like the ones we had last time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. No, they don't. I honestly can't notice the difference. I don't you remember last time. I don't remember. They were terrible. They, they smelled like fun. fucking chemicals and shit. I do remember that, yeah. These are They're a little more back. sugary. Mm -hmm. It's the same fucking brand. Yeah, well, why does it taste different then? Because they're fucking fresh. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, they're good. Thank you. Thank you, Troy. Whoa. Crepuscular sun rays. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. The sun is smaller than Earth and very close. We can trace the angle of the rays back to their source above the clouds. The sun is clearly not massive or 93 million miles away and relatively close. I'm chewing the mic. That, that must suck. We can trace the angle of the rays back to their source above the clouds. So they must not account for the atmosphere, right? Because mm -hmm. that certainly distorts lots of sun rays. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. B, they also must not account for, like, the massive amounts of energy that comes out of a huge thousand times the mass of Earth ball of fission energy. The sun. The sun. <laughs> Thank you, right? 
Yeah. They goes, it must be relatively close. They don't think we'd be vaporized, like, completely. Yeah, because they don't think the sun's that big. Right. Yeah. They also or don't far. think the sun's very or powerful yeah. or big. Last but not least. Oh, shit. Nine. Gravity is magic. Oh, Christ. Wizards. Gravity pulls to the center of the globe ball. Globes in quotations, of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Globe. The Bonneville Salt Flats were once a salt lake. If the top were curved, then the bottom would be. What makes down is possibly a push slash diamagnetism. No curvature <laughs> anywhere. The oceans all touch. I'm going to let you what? read this. I, <laughs> I promise you I read this all with the inputted... Well, you missed uh, number 10. All with the inputted grammatical and punctuational structure that they had there. Let's give it to them. Here's number 10. I, I think they're right. I think they're right about that Yeah, one. they've convinced that me. makes sense. Yeah, number uh, 10. Flat Earth confirmed. Yeah, Kyrie yeah. Irving, you're right. Boats over the curve. It is a common misconception that boats disappear out of sight because of the curvature of Earth. The introduction of the Nikon P900 and P1000 have posed a real problem for the supposed curve of the Earth. <laughs> this was a real problem for everyone in the whole world who thinks this. You know, why, why are these fucking people so fucking passionate about this shit? I don't know. They just love fucking having people argue Maybe with them. Maybe they're on, like, the side of, like, really wanting to prove everyone wrong. They're, yeah. They get off on being like, Ooh. hey, Earth's not fucking <laughs> round, you idiots. All right. It's flat, and I'll tell you why. All right. All right. Well, that's a little weird. You know, I mean, for anyone who hasn't seen it, there is a great clip of a documentary where someone... The entire documentary is about disproving the fact that Earth is a globe. Mm -hmm. At the, around like the quarter end of it, they they do like the live experiment mm -hmm. where the guy goes out and he films out these. Oh, I've seen this. Right, yeah. you know, they they get their camera and they shine a light through these two holes that are seventeen feet, maybe meters. You know, don't mm -hmm. don't quote me on that. And he goes, he he says, he's like, by my calculations, we should be able to look through both of these holes here and see the light on the other side. Mm -hmm. If Richard over there has to raise his light up in order for us to see it, then the Earth Earth must be curved mm -hmm. because of the way that we've spaced these out. We Wait, then see away? the light. It's like 17 meters. <laughs> it's like 34 feet, uh -huh. which is, you know, not super far. Nothing. Uh, so then a clip later, it goes, ah. Well, that's weird. We can't see the light. And he yeah, goes, right. All right, Richard. Yeah, Richard. Raise, raise your arms. <laughs> Poor Richard raises uh -huh. arms, and there's the light there's the shines light. Yeah. through. The music plays. He goes, huh? Huh? That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that cuts. Yeah, fucking. The, this person was just crazy. I thought it was just so funny. As soon as it's so great. As soon as I saw her, I'm like, this is such podcast material. I'm like, give me a pamphlet now. Yeah, give me, your, uh, give I wish me I was a there. pamphlet. Give oh, me your fucking pamphlet. I felt so bad. These kids were fucking with her so hard. Like they good. That's they what they're loved there for. It. That's what kids mm -hmm. are for. They loved it. Ugh. I, I would just, I just love to ask one of them why. Right. I know. That's what all, all I want to know. They never talk about the why. Like, why is this a conspiracy? They don't want other. Maybe they don't want other people like being subjugated to like the lives of. The why government. is Dunn doing conspiracy? I mean, he's just crazy. No, I'm saying, but flat Earth specifically. Right. Like, they don't yeah. want other people to be like the government's right. They want to be like they're they're like anti science. They, yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, you guys are right. Why? Like. Like, Why the fuck? Okay, like, like, like JFK experience. Right. It's like, all right, well, who the fuck killed JFK? Right, right. Which we'll get yeah, into. but it's like, okay, so the flat Earth is fucking flat. So who was winning when we all thought it was round? Yeah, right. it's like proven flat. So right. Okay, what's going exactly. on now? What changes? Right. I guess that we the government lied about space. Yeah. Right. Moon. Lies about literally all of it, but like for what benefit? We'll yeah. never know. Human mind control. Because we can see boats over the things. horizon. It's fucked up, guys. We can't do that. Yep. I know. I know. So um. Speaking of things to get out of conspiracy theories, should we talk about 9-11? 9-11. 9, 11. nine, 11. nine you ever? Nine. My, dude, best clip from Family Guy is when Lois is, like, running for, like, mayor or some shit, and she just goes, <laughs> and Brian's like, you just fucking say something about 9-11. She goes, 9-11, uh, and the whole crowd goes, uh -huh. and they're all laughing, and she goes, yeah, yeah, and 9-11, um, nine, nine. and they uh -huh. all go wild, and they're uh -huh. all clapping. <laughs> Good episode. Yeah, mm -hmm. just they're all patriotic. Yeah, right. They're, you know, whatever. Sounds uh, really so, yeah, passionate Ty, about this. If you'd like to uh, pull up on the big screen some of our uh, sources, oh. followed by uh, Quiet Larry's beard sister. First, one's fine. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. So let me just break this down. So supposedly 9/11 uh, is debatably an inside job done by our own government in order to uh, get a forward say in oil overseas, as well as deploy troops in order to force a uh, 
economic spur of sorts because we believe that uh, going to war is profitable in some senses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, some other people have mentioned that uh, Afghanistan happens to produce 90% of the entire globe's uh, poppy production, mm -hmm. uh, which is huge for opium, uh, as, you know, opium is a huge ingredient in all of the pain narcotics. It's gotten really big lately, too. Opiates, right? Mm -hmm. Opiate addictions. Um, so, Ty, if you'd like to go back to that other video, we have uh, the Pentagon, which, mind you, is debatably one of the most highly secured buildings in the entire country, right? I couldn't think of a, a more highly defensible uh, building than the headquarters <laughs> of the Defense Department, right? Mm -hmm. So, out of all of the videos or cameras that were possibly recorded for this event, this was the only one that was publicly released as footage of evidence of what happened to the Pentagon. Mm -hmm. So, Ty, if you want to play our, our nice, sweet video, short and sweet, we have a very low quality. Uh, uh, this wasn't before cameras either, boys, right? Right. Before no. video cameras? We Definitely clearly not. had cameras. <laughs> so, this is a dash cam where frame by frame, we see right there on the right, if you want to take us back maybe one second. One frame. There's yeah. like three frames in the whole video. Play and pause real quick, and we get a silver object on our right hand here. That's the that's the plane. That's one frame. Next frame, boom. That's it. That's this is the entire footage of impact from whatever hit this building. Mm -hmm. Nothing else public. Not anything from the Pentagon released. This is the only thing from released. The government. Everything else has been taken back. I'm sure there's security cameras all over this building. Yeah, hundreds, if not maybe thousands, that are hidden in trees, bushes, posts, buildings, corners of the building, light mm -hmm. posts, anything. You name it. Who the fuck knows? There's, they're, they're probably all over the place. And yet this is the only thing that they released from so, it, right? So from you three, obviously Sam believes in 9-11 right, was an inside right. job. I'm, Danny, do you believe believer. in 9-11 was an inside job? Um, I, th I do think that they knew. I, I, there's a lot of like... You knew, They knew something was coming or they knew exactly? They knew, they knew, mm, they knew something was coming. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I don't think they could have predicted that on you know 9-11 all this shit would have gone down. But I do think that, yeah, I think the government knew. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, if you really look back to like the roots, like in in a sense, like you correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like I mean, we we essentially in like a weird thread of crazy political fucking bullshitting around. I mean, we've essentially created I think it was Al Qaeda or something like that. Pretty much. In in a, in a sense, like I mean, I don't know. By leaving, you can't. Yeah. It, it's like there's too many political ties into like all these terrorist groups that. You could convince me that you know they didn't know if something was. Going to I don't happen. know how they get so much money. Supposedly, That's my thing. supposedly we've trained uh, trained uh, uh, Saddam Hussein, I believe. No, or, or it was Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden. Yes, right, was, there you go. was trained by the U.S. Rocky Three. Did his did his family <laughs> ever get deported or no? Who? Uh, Osama's Rambo family lived in the United States. I did not know that. You know that? No. Huh? Thought you knew that, right? Osama's family lives in the United States. Yeah. They got deported, didn't they? Or do they not? They're still here. I have no idea. Let's go find him. Let's go meet him. They exiled him. That was the whole point. They exiled him, and then he left and went to another country. And then we eventually killed him. Well, yeah, he's dead. He went in hiding. Let's hope. He was in, he's not he was dead. A, he was in hiding for a long time. Oh, very long time. Um, and so other facts to build up this conspiracy. Ty, if you'd like to go to our next one. Um, so as we all know, the two buildings, World Trade Center 1 and 2 building, were hit by planes, right? 1 and 2. Yes, I see number 1. Right. I see number 2. Uh, so mm -hmm. those two were the only ones hit, whereas there were three buildings that fell that day, which wow. would be 1, 2, and 7. Now, if you take a look at our great building diagram seven. here, right? Fucking seven. Seven is not only a building across, like a building's length away where, you know, mind you, building number six did not fall, mm -hmm. but entire other streets length across from these two buildings. And yet this building also collapsed. Did they now build you, anything on that building? Yes. So here's the catch. Here's why it's like, oh, so what? A third building fell mm -hmm. from no impact, from just fire, first ever fire, construct, uh, structural damage to right. ever collapse. The thing is, is that there was supposedly four, anywhere between four and 12 floors of this building, which you can look this up on Wikipedia. They have... Uh, on Wikipedia, very valuable right. source. Of course, of course. Yeah, it's not that bad. Um, like. They true. have the list of, ten, uh, uh, of tenants throughout those buildings, and between four and 12 of those layers, or levels, mm. uh, were supposedly owned by the CIA. Really? Now, you know, what kind of things could be held behind the Central Intelligence Agency's papers? Yeah. Who knows? Uh, we also had reports from uh, Mr. Rumsfeld, I believe, I, I forget his first name, Donald Rumsfeld maybe? He was the Secretary of Defense at the time, right? Mm -hmm. uh, days before, sorry, the day before 9-11 brings up a huge uh, issue about 
not being able to keep a track or keep account for over 2.3 trillion dollars of the oh, military yeah, I heard budget. about that actually Mm. So there was and supposed then no, to be no one talked about it after because no yeah. because of 9/11. 9/11 so yeah. there was going to be a war on waste of the military complex like hoarding all of this money and just spending it on no one knows what because so much was untracked right uh, so that was completely diverted by 9/11 which who knows what belonged in the CIA papers right supposedly the part of the Pentagon that was also attacked was an accounting department which would be clearly reliable for all of the papers and funds that would go through something like the military mm. complex. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, we have those two incidents being targeted. Isn't it crazy that was 18 years ago? Yeah. Oh, that's Isn't that weird. That's wild. It's fucking weird. I mean, this is something that, Dan, like, you remember I, where you were? I don't... Oh, yeah. I you remember did? where oh, I yeah. was, and I don't remember any other details besides, like, I remember sitting there... I got pulled out of school, I think. I think I was parents. three or four. Me, too. I got pulled out of school. Yeah, I was, I was pulled out of school as well. Yeah. Because, like, I mean, I had a lot of family in uh, New York at the time, so, like, I mean, we... Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I know my mom and my grandma were just, like, freaking the hell out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I had school the next day. You also have a situation, um, the very last plane that crashed the one that was going in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. which they supposedly, they have no idea where it was actually heading. Um, there's radio of, like, air traffic control saying that they've lost, like, track of this flight, mm. like, rogue flight. Minutes, probably 20 or 30 minutes go by of them just being like, yeah, can't track them. Well, wasn't it, uh, weren't they, like, trained pilots, people who took over the plane? So wouldn't they know how to turn off their trackers? Maybe even if that were the case, if you have a ro you have nine eleven happening, and then you have a rogue plane, you don't think Air Force is flying all over the fucking area to find this lost plane that just went out? I don't know. That that's a stretch. I mean, cause, I mean, like, as soon as you see so a, much no, as soon as you see a plane hit, they're all the Air Force was in the air. They're they were in New York, ready, at least. They're, they cut yeah, off. They're in New York. They cut that's off what I'm saying. All they're flights on the East Coast. What do you mean? Yeah. Who else is I flying in the air? I, I don't buy it. You don't buy it. I don't buy that. Like, like buy that. they would necessarily be mobilized enough to find a. a I think they. I think they literally flew every single fighter jet they had from all no, around. No, I'm sure the, they did. The, I'm sure they did. But they, I'm not. I'm saying that like, okay, so like, there's a rogue flight and they can't find it, but like, I don't think that discredits the entire. Isn't that crazy? They didn't. Like, sure. Was that plane already like scheduled? That the plane that hit both towers were they yeah. already supposed to be going over New York or around New York or something? Like, I think so. Because they were supposed say, to be around New York, but not through New York. That's what I'm saying. Like, don't you think they could have realized? <laughs> they I mean, diverted you very quickly. You couldn't get a jet right up in the air, obviously, and take them down. But like, yeah. I feel like they, they could have at least had a warning or something before they hit. Like, yeah. They didn't have anything. Like, literally, like people were probably still sitting at their desks when the planes hit. Well, because like, oh, I mean, right? it, it flew close enough to New York where like when they diverted. You probably would have had air traffic control being like, "Hey, like you're diverting." Like, right, right. There's no, but there's then there, yeah. there's the first and they just, it's, it's like, several, what the fuck just it's, happened? Yeah. Okay, I give I give doubt to like several minutes. Air Force can't react, right? Right. I I wouldn't put it past ten or fifteen minutes for the Air Force to be in the air if something mm -hmm. like that. Oh, happens. definitely not. No. Also, Honestly, probably quicker nowadays. There's probably a, like there's probably protocol to get an, a right. thing in, like, something in the air um, really quickly. And think about like within minutes, I'd say. Yeah. I mean, me myself, I'm under the presumption that the Pentagon is the kind of place where if a missile were to be coming at it from like over a mile, they would detect it and shoot it down with the, with lasers. No, isn't that what the Navy? Does? <laughs> Think about it. Isn't that what the Navy does? I'm know. not sure if you guys know no about clue. this, but the Navy has laser guns. Literally, I'm not shitting you. Laser guns <laughs> that are used to target missiles Fucking and take info them out. Info Wars is back, right? <laughs> Alex Jones here. No, seriously. Yeah. They're perfecting laser equipment that uh -huh. disables and this is fucking. Missiles. I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Drew, this. I'm kind of retarded. But like, that's yeah, close. We're not telling anyone retarded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have some you type of protection. About the fluoride. Going. The what? Yeah, fluoride. Turning the frogs oh, gay. The no, fluoride. we're not going there. We're not taking this Alex Jones route. Yeah, All right, fuck guys. That. Fuck you guys. I like the fluoride. Ty, let's keep it down over there too. You're an echo over here. Yeah, yeah. Too much talking. <laughs> a little too, too talk. loud. A little yeah, too loud. Come on, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you can talk. Just no fucking good help around and here. And then you Jesus. Know, the last part that goes into uh -huh. this, uh, the the flight that was going through PA. Uh huh. They didn't find a fuselage. They fuselage. found they found a, a fucking part fuselage of it. is gone. Right. This is this is also the first documented plane crash where there was no fuse a full fuselage found. Which for those of you who don't know, fuselage is the long passenger part of a fucking plane. Mm -hmm. They Holds. didn't find. They found like a side of it. Fucking fuselage. The rest of it's completely out of tact. What he fucking he bears. Some trees Look, really uh, just ripped it apart, screw by nail. So wait. So are you saying? Are you suggesting that that there was no plane? Or you, what do you like? What are you saying? Um, I think the, the why. We the, need the why. No, no, I, I'm not even asking for the why. I'm saying, like, what do you think hit the fucking thing? Hit what thing? 
the like, plane you're saying, and PA. Like, okay, so you're saying there's just a big chunk of the... I think the plane and PA was a deterrent to be like, yeah, this was a full-on... It was like their last cover-up to make sure no one was turning their back on like the three okay. planes before. They were like, oh, these are kind of sketchy. They were just like, oh, my God. Right. All of those people in Pennsylvania, like the heroes that saved the plane that went down. You know, I don't want to like discredit those people too because like if that story is true, then like, yeah, sure, they potentially saved like... Well, what happened to all the people then? You think they just killed, killed a bunch of people? Yeah. Where? Like, you think they went to their house and killed them or some shit? Um, Kidnapped them? I mean, th they could have straight up made identities. It's the government. The people who are, like, keeping track of your identity. Right? Mm, yeah. I don't know. That's a stretch for me. I mean, there's Personally. witness protection I mean, like, programs. right. Think about all, like... Yeah, how about family members? That kind of shit. Like, people coming on the news and, like, the actors. government planned every single part. I would not no, be surprised. I, look, yeah, there's, it's, no. a, it's a big ploy, think, I guess. Think about how, like, the, the magnitude of what's going on here. Why would they lack at any step? That's true. Why would they They're even... Because, I mean, into a you're, you're talking about planning things that you could never calculate for. Like, you're, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to blow up two buildings in New York, three, I guess, and then we're going to we're gonna systematically, un, like, completely okay, cover it up. Imagine we yeah, are I'm the sure government. You could cover up... No, you, you could cover up that there was involvement with the U.S. I think you could do that. Right. But you can't... There's no way that you could, you could get away with blowing up two buildings in New York City, like, pro, the most, like... Prominent buildings Victorious, at the time, of course. And then I, I, you can't pay that many actors. Like it's just you're. Why not? They have the military. People would say something. Do like, you, do you understand how large the military spending budget is? I get that, but I feel you, like any single person okay. who gets briefed on it would be like, "Okay, I'm not okay with this." All right, think about this. Be think about this. People who already work for the government. Let me let me give you an example. Let me give them. you an example of like what I'm saying. Okay. You, like imagine you're filming a big movie. Right. Right. It's a zombie movie or something. You need a lot of – like, you, let's say you need 500 extras. Right. 500 people to do really nothing but walk around and do their exact part. Okay. Out of all those 500 people, you, one of them – let's say, like, the, the movie's a secret project. Right. It would only take one of them to really leak out that information. Right. And and, and there would be – you could like, – because they were there, they could. there's a lot of documented proof. Right. So if you're saying that – in what, how many, like, locations ended up getting hit? Like, four total, four. right? Four, well, four locations. New York, like, PA, Washington. A terrorist attack of that scale, you would be talking about so many people would have to be involved for that to go down exactly how you want it. Right. But here's and the And nobody, catch. like... Eh. Here's, here's what kind of justifies that is, like, uh, so, sure, you would have 500 people involved, but how many of those are going on camera and talking about their loved ones on the plane? Not all of them. Not all of them. But I'm not saying that I would, the, I would that guess, the camera's not their only opportunity to I speak. guess I guess under 50. There's no way. I, Here's my thing. I, I think, think you can't wait, wait, convince me listen, that. How many people do you think went on camera to talk about like that plane going down? I'm sure there's been a lot. More than 50? Oh, yeah. Over time or like at the de same day or over time? Um, over time. Over time, yeah, way exactly, more. Yeah. How many? Okay. There's documentaries of people that weren't even there. They right. were fucking working in a deli and they're what like, oh, yeah, well, I was 100. making a sandwich. Huh? A hundred. More than a hundred. Really? Have oh, yeah. all have documented being like, yeah, my family was here. Family. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So? I, I know personally people. How I'm many saying... people do you even think fucking died on the plane? All of them? No, no, no. Like numbers. 300? <laughs> <laughs> like, 300? Yeah, right. 300 yeah. Wait, so, plane, uh, 600. Wait, so wait, how many people died on planes total? Let's, what, did, let's do we have this number? I, I know that in, in New York alone, it was just under 3,000. 3,000 people died total? Yeah. Oh, in New York. I know that. Yeah. Okay. New York. I would assume actually the numbers say nine. Capacity of the aircraft was 158 passengers. September 11th flight carried 81 passengers and 11 crew members. That's a weird, that's a low quantity right? flight for New 81 York. 81 people. You're gonna fucking tell me that that's a low. That that's many? a low amount of that's people. That's hard we number to get. Yeah. Think about for the government and the media and the public, how quick. Oh, flight 11 only. How so quickly would it would be, that, or how quick and easy it would be to discredit the people that are saying no, this is fake. 58 percent capacity. Wasn't on there. Where the other, even 75, 50% of the people on the plane were like, how could you say that? How could you say that my family wasn't on there? Like, all those people get drowned out like that. Wait, ready? Mm -hmm. So it was actually a higher percentage than the average load capacity for a Tuesday morning for that flight. Normally, uh, it's 39%. There was 58% on the flight. So more than the, the normal. Hmm. So you're, uh, all right. <laughs> right? So you're all saying that on board were killed, including what, David Angley. Sorry, Craven. go ahead. I keep forgetting what we're talking about in a way. Like, what, what's your point? Because I, I don't know what my point is either. 9-11 is in such a job. Oh, yeah, yeah I agree. Wait, I don't, it's, I don't it's, agree, But though. not to that extent. Okay. What you're saying is wild. 
Right. Listen, listen to what I'm saying, okay? Because yeah. I didn't even. Put, what are you saying? So I don't. I don't. I don't think it's an inside job. I think that these fuckers figured out a way that they half-assed it, even though it was planned. Obviously, they trained flight people. Obviously, it's not too difficult to get someone to be able to just fly the. I mean, obviously, it's hard to fly okay. a plane. But I think that they could find the right people who would want to join their group. There's enough people in the group already in Al Qaeda right. to have at least some pilots trained enough to where they don't have to do anything but steer the plane into the tower, right? Instead of anything else, yeah. or, And obviously hijack it with weapons because hijack it because airport yeah. security was absolute dog shit back then, right. right? Okay. I think they half-assed it. Said, okay, there's a flight going to DC. There's two flights going to New York. We have this many people who know how to fly planes. This many people to hijack the plane, and this many people who we think can make it onto a plane without any suspicion, even though it was easy again back then. I think they hijacked the fucking plane. Okay. The two people, the, the two groups were successful on the New York flights. The other flights, they, they're they fucking idiots. Mm -hmm. They had got rushed in the cockpit, couldn't overwhelm people by shooting them or whatever they had, knives, I don't know. Box cutters? Box cutters, yeah. yeah. I mean, a bunch of people can fucking overrun a guy with a box cutter, let's be honest. Right. Stab one person, three, three people, you know? Right. Um, and I think those people were maybe too intimidated and thought they had guns. Or locked the uh, doors to the, right. the cockpit. Sure, right. I don't know, but I think it was just a, a way less planned than I think we think it was. It, I think it was planned over a long period of time by Al Qaeda, but not actually organized. Like they weren't good at doing it. They just purchased flights, and made sure that they had the right people to be in the country at the time mm -hmm. who knew how to fly planes, and that's how they did it. Because mm -hmm. think about it, that's very low, um, I guess, uh, effort to get a large. Uh, you know, amount of deaths out of it, and a big yeah. media story, obviously, because you're fucking destroying the biggest buildings and right. hitting, you know, the Pentagon. If that's the case, how did the set of the World Trade Center Seven building fall if it wasn't touched? I, I have no clue. I mean, I'm sure there's something behind it. You can pull up footage if we really want to go this way. Um, mm -hmm. The building falls like the most perfect demolition I've ever seen. Straight down? You mean? Straight. Well, down. only one of them goes straight down, right? What? No, they all go straight, they all straight, go straight, straight down. down. How about the building seven? Is there any footage yeah, of building seven? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? How that's does building seven one. fall? Yeah, Perfectly but you know, they're designed down. to do that, right? What? To, to fall down. down. It's because yeah, if they fall over... Dynamite designs it to do that. Right. Oh, God. It's perfect demolition. <laughs> you, so you really think that like this? there's like this crazy fucking... like. Yes. Oh my god! I mean, I I agree to the extent that I think like the all right, building seven looks a little sketch. I'll be real. I'm, uh, can we? Let yeah, Ty, can <laughs> you for us? Go to building weakened by WTC attack collapses. Uh, so mind you, all those little details about me telling you about the actors and PA, all of that. That's not something where I'm like super convinced yeah. on. It's just the the leading the lead up to that that discourages okay, yeah, other people sus, from that's proving it. Video. You know. What yes. I'm a hard believer in is this building falling, mm -hmm. as Same. well as the Pentagon having shitty security. Well, Those are the two biggest flaws I yeah. see in this. Yeah. Which one? That's a suspect Troy. video. It's Which one? Um, w, yeah, one. that one. That one. That, it's four years ago. I hope, what the fuck? fucking, I hope we don't get copyrighted ago. for this, but keep going. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I swear to God that it. this is like the most perfect demolition. There's a couple, of, there's a couple of videos. Don't yeah, worry. there's a few views. It doesn't look like it's touched from the top. Mind you, this was not hit by a plane. Wait, this was from look, like neighboring look. fires. <laughs> look at that; it's clean. It's straight, and it's not from the top. But the, at the bottom collapses. And this is like randomly after both other two towers have already do you think fallen. It's, do you think it's possible from? Do you think it's possible from the towers having so much force hitting the ground that it actually caused like almost like a mini earthquake? No. No. Okay. Back squash. Just curious. Man. Let's see if it gives us another view. I'm telling you, this like this shit is clean. It does. Oh wait, here. Nope. They're just running. Well, might as well this guy running, holding signs. Oh, you can't go here. Oh, yeah, right. Blocking off the fucking rubble, like <laughs> instead of just looking like, for fucking think people. About, think about how nice and easy it would be for all of this part of New York to be completely evacuated after everything else has fallen, and they're like, "All right, boys, everything's clear. Take it down." One cone, guys. Don't go here. Stop. It contained. Okay, it contained let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Also included in those two in those floors, the CIA, right, and Secret Service. But wow. continue. All right. Wow. I'm on board. Here, this is my I'm question. Go for it. I want to. I want to. I want to know what you say about this. Okay, so if you're gonna do a terrorist attack, I mean, if you're already attacking New York, you're already hitting the big leagues. We probably shouldn't, uh, you know, say we're gonna do anything. We're, yeah, not, right. we're not yeah. advocating any type of We're planning thing. something out, right. you know? Okay. Oh, no, geez. but seriously, 9-11. Oh, everything that happens in 9-11. Right. You, what you're saying is that 
they wanted Building 7 to go down. Yes. Okay, but why? Because of the stuff you just said, CIA. Because here's the thing. Like, you've already you've already hit two buildings. They've gone down. The CIA stuff, as we're saying. The buildings that he, the floors were owned by CIA, CIA said. He said so who's the, so what's the conspiracy that they remember the money that was missing? There's there's lots of documents that can be held in force. So you're saying they, they move these documents over where they that they show where they spent the money into building seven and then they knock it down. So there's a ton of Is that what you're saying or No. Okay. Because that's way that's too hard. specific for what could have actually been the reasoning. Mind mm -hmm. you, there there could be tons of reasons they took down this building because it's the CIA. Mm -hmm. We have no idea what documents were inside there, but I would assume that they were important and they didn't want other people seeing them. Man. It would make sense of what you said, that they attacked the accounting department of the oh, Pentagon, oh, they attacked oh, the CIA's, the Central Intelligence Agency, the mm -hmm. people who know most of the shit that's going on. All right, want to hear something crazier? All right. Are we finished up with the 9-11 talk? You sure. Yeah, I'm sure this is going to come up again. Yeah, it will. it will. I'll be ready. I just want to do a quick... Uh, <laughs> I'll do my research. Yeah. So this this, is, this blew my mind when I was younger. I'm sure a lot of people have heard about it already. If you haven't, you're going to love this. It's a crazy just coincidence. Oh, I love this. This so is sick. I want to pull up the Abe Lincoln and uh, JFK comparisons, or I guess similarities between the two. Um, I'm just going to go through the list, and like, I swear you're... I've personally looked up each fact just because I've been so questionable about this yeah, when I first it's, saw it's it. It's eerily It's weird. Much. It is fucking weird, okay? So, you got the first one. Abraham Lincoln was elected Congress in 1846, JFK in 1946. Coincidence, 100 years, whatever. All right? Abe Lincoln was elected president in 1860. JFK was elected president in 1960. All right? Another, you know, mm -hmm. one first one is crazy. Um, the names Lincoln and Kennedy each contain seven letters, whatever. Both were particularly concerned with civil rights. Both wives lost their children while living in the White House. I think they were the only ones to ever lose their children in the White House as well. Mm. Um, both presidents were shot on a Friday. Both were shot in the head. Lincoln's secretary, Lincoln's secretary, Kennedy, warned him not to go to the theater. Kennedy's secretary, Lincoln, warned him not to go to Dallas. That's, that's, that's fucking weird. Right. And their secretary was Kennedy. And, yeah. Both weird. Fridays, sure. There's only right. seven fucking days. Mm -hmm. that, that can line up. Right. The whole they're they're a hundred years Kennedy, apart. Yeah. They're a hundred years apart. That's kind of crazy. That it's exactly a hundred years, but you know, it's it's also it can happen. Mm -hmm. That part already makes it all weird. Right. You get to the two names. That's a little fucked up. We have a lot more too. Names. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then both were assassinated by Southerners. Both were succeeded by Southerners. Both successors were named Johnson. Kind of strange. Andrew Johnson, who succeeded Lincoln, was born in 1808. Lyndon Johnson, who succeeded Kennedy, was born in 1908. A hundred years apart. Also, mm. crazy coincidence. Still, yep. it's weird. This one's weird not, to me. It's not killing the, me. Getting to this point, John Wilkes Booth was born in 1839. Lee Harvey Oswald was born in 1939. So another hundred years Another difference. hundred years. Both assassins were known by their three names. Both names are com com comprised of 15 letters. Mm -hmm. Booth ran from the theater and was caught in the warehouse. Oswald ran from a warehouse and was caught in a theater. That's weird, too. And then Booth and Oswald were assassinated before their trials, both of them. Pretty stuff. It is weird, but yeah, it's you know okay. Wait, what? The things that start to get me, uh, I feel like <laughs> even back. Uh, oh, it okay. says that. It says their faction correct. I've looked uh, up a lot of them. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I swear, I've looked up. I've looked up a lot of them. Abraham Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846. John F. Kennedy was elected. I think the only one doesn't sound correct that I didn't see before was warned him not to go. Like the secretary's warning him. Oh, that, that's a crazy Yeah, because I know Lincoln's secretary was named Kennedy and Kennedy's secretary is named Lincoln, but mm -hmm. I don't think they, I don't know about the warning part. I never heard that. So once again, uh, as a conspiracy theory advocate for some, I think that JFK was definitely assassinated by an outside pro like uh, party oh, yeah. that had a huge agenda. Oh, um, yeah. As for having, like, you have to think. So obviously, like, we weren't too intelligent of people 200 years ago back in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. Sure, don't get me wrong. We weren't f like total fucking morons. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like you got to have some really complex shit going on to assassinate the president if you just like snuck into a theater. But you also have to think of like it, it'd be pretty easy. See, like it doesn't matter There's, if it's different. He'd have guards. He'd have guards happen. for the president, and that's about yeah. it. Uh, yeah, that's what you're saying. See, Ty, I think they're going a little bit of a stretch. They're like trying to go through <laughs> well, every I think single. They're arguing the opposite. Well, it's a little bit, I think I get I get what they're saying, but it still happened, all this stuff. Like, this one, they're saying that it didn't happen in the same circumstance, but they still lost children in the White House, so. This one is the one that I, yeah. This one is one of those coincidences yeah, that simply isn't wrong. a coincidence. Yeah, I never heard that. That's what I agree. I, I actually agree with that. 
Wow. They hmm. can't figure out that Lincoln had a secretary named well, Kennedy. CNU, it looks like it's like one of those BuzzFeed Yeah, that's a, that's a weird one. Snopes. That's a weird one. Good I one. agree with that one. But almost all the other stuff, I, I've checked a lot of it. Well, if it's fucking real, that's cool. Right? It's one of those kind of things. Yeah, that'd be it's sick. It's also unfortunate, but whatever. Mm-hmm. What's Just like 9-11, really you know, died? that's that's the hardest part for me. Like, I love telling, like, all those, all those crazy things yeah. about 9-11. But at the same time, it's also, like, super disheartening to think that our government would be willing to sacrifice 3,000 people to traumatize hundreds of thousands of people to create a national, like... Not really holiday, but like Memorial Day of nine eleven. You know, wait, it's a lot of shit that wait, goes down on top of that. They, that like makes me seem super shitty to just be an advocate mm-hmm. for nine eleven. You said they could have made up all these people's names and shit, but like, why would they even do that if they're gonna kill all these people in New York anyway? Might as well just fucking kill all the people in the plane. No, you meant like the people, like like they would get interviewed and like people after, right? That's what you meant, right? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm saying the people that died on the PA plane, like all of those people, just like not being real. Oh, uh, so that they didn't have a family that right, tied right. to it. They kind of, oh, oh, so like sure, they genuinely killed the people in the towers. That I'm not denying that it no, didn't no, happen. That. Right? I'm saying why would they just put real? Why would they just actually get a flight and just fucking kill a bunch of people? Because I don't think a plane crash straight like happened at all. I mean, like it risked. To, right, I don't think the plane crash happened at yeah, all. A you. and B, like there's a lot more that goes into that. Uh, like crashing into a building is like guaranteed that plane's fucked. Right, mm-hmm. crashing into like a forest on the ground unless you're nose diving is like the same kind of thing even if you're nose diving mm-hmm. remnants of this plane are certainly there okay so what's your point in P- they, the crash <laughs> of, remember the crash that they found in PA didn't have a fuselage oh that's right yeah okay I see what you're saying a complete fuselage it was literally like <laughs> well, that, the side that word, panel fuselage. fuselage yeah it's an interesting word it's wild <laughs> uh, so I guess 9-11 stuff will eventually some someday get back to it yeah. oh yeah um, it'll come around it always does. I do want to bring up a funny Every topic. 9-11, we'll talk about it. Every every yeah. 9-11 episode special. <laughs> we, should, we should have a, like a special. Nine. Nine. We'll, we'll, we'll play 11. the clip. We'll right. Play. Every yeah, time. Oh every God. time. Every, every 9-11. We'll make sure to do a podcast on the day. Uh, I just wanted to throw into like a funny topic. Not even a topic. Just a funny story. Play, that, lighten the mood a little told. bit. Yeah. Um, so me and Sam kind of, Sam mentioned it, just randomly told me. He's like, oh, like we should talk about like what we do in the shower. And I'm like, okay. okay. Mm-hmm. So, so. I was just curious, and, like, uh, someone at my work asked me, like, I said something to him about the topic, and he's like, yo, I have a great story. And I'm like, how do these people come up with these fucking mm-hmm. stories? Like, the most random shit. Right. I was just going into, like, you know, maybe you pee in the shower. Maybe, right. you, maybe I yeah. don't know, you spit, you blow your nose. Oh, blow your nose in the shower, you know, big one. Whatever big one. Is, you yeah. do that? Blow my nose in the shower? Yeah. Oh, dude, I do course. as well. So you just, like, blast out blast. into the drain? You just literally just yeah, blow just into your get nose? Get it off? No. Like, you won't no, no. You just Boundary. Boundary. No way. Why? Ugh. Yeah, why not? You do that too? <laughs> you're literally cleaning your nose out instead of, getting, instead of you fucking massive... rubbing your nose with a tissue all the time. It's like, and gets all over your face. I mean, anyway. I, I don't know, because like, I've never really been stuffy in the shower like that, though. I'm not either. Well, I, do I, have bad I literally do it every time, regardless of yeah. Oh, snotty. it's like, yeah. well, fuck I'm it. just clearing. I'm, I'm clearing. clearing. I'm cleaning. <laughs> if I'm cleaning my body, I'm cleaning my nose. You I have know? bad allergies, dude. I have never heard of that. I have really bad allergies. Blowing your nose is a great way to prevent, you know, sinus infection, all that clogged upness. So, might as well. You know, like a hot seat. And you're not worried about the boogers getting not clogged or anything? Clogged? What are you fucking giant boogers? What the fuck? I don't know. I mean, there's soap running through. Because the drain's not, like, huge. Yeah, the yeah, drain snot, holes, snot dude. Is in no way strong <laughs> yeah. enough know, to clog like, a drain. You're fucking crazy. You, are you, I like, could see snot, if snot hair getting is, stuck. If like, hair can't like fully clog a drain, unless you're like a woman who has a lot of hair, uh-huh. like one of us, then uh-huh. fucking snot is not clogging <laughs> a drain. Like, you're crazy. So let me it's get not, the, uh, like this. Black. That is wow. It's I've never, like, even, I've never heard of this before in my s- life. You have like black tar snot, like. Well, I'm just saying, like, if I have like a lot of snot and I hit the drain, I'm not. It's not. There's no guarantee it's going down. Oh, there definitely right. is. So, no way. I mean, I guess you guys all do it. It's, it's a lot of water. It's going yeah, down. It's going sure. down. Exactly. Just give it a try. Yeah. It's a, a good time. All so right. Go so Sorry. this story, it's like I didn't expect anyone to have a real in-depth story about this. It wasn't in-depth, but like just weird, right? So I'm sure people out there uh, jerk off in the shower, right? I mean, sure. I don't. I don't sure, personally. Uh, yeah, I don't. Of course, I also don't. Uh, of course I don't. not. I, I, I would never you know, do that. That's you know funny. I would argue that Danny always does. <laughs> what the hell? Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> what the fuck? Hear me I'm out. I'm not trying to throw it out on the bus here. I'm just saying, 
You don't have to mention it all. Personally, I don't. No, wait, hold on. I want to hear the logic. Let's not even go as far as to say he always does. He would defend it, right? He would say, oh, yeah, why not? Because he would think that that is less likely to clog, clog the drain than snot. Yeah, what? No, it's I. It's uncomfortable to jerk off in the shower. I agree. I agree. You, I, gotta, you I, can get a hunch over a little bit and fucking like. Ugh, <laughs> nah. As someone who will admit that I've tried it, I don't think I'd do it again. No, it's really it's just never. not optimal circumstances. Right. I, I've done it like twice. <laughs> yeah, twice. And I was like, idea. okay, well, this is stupid. Yeah. All right. So, so not wait. comfortable. Overrated. So this person. He's um he's like oh I have a good story for you I'm like mm -hmm. okay it's weird so he sits down and he's like all right so like I'm having my like my baby right like my my new kid's coming on the way and uh, we're like remodeling a lot of our house right I'm like yeah okay so he, he gets a new baby room for her for the kid and um he's like yeah we're gonna redo the bathroom as well um, my bathroom and the the new kid's bathroom so when the guy was putting in the stuff for the bathroom I told him to, I I measured my height and made an eye level uh uh spot on the shower on the right corner mm -hmm. a dry spot for his phone so he could watch porn on, on his phone oh was, man <laughs> so he pre-planned having a, a dry spot for his phone on a, a, a stand with a little tilt thing on it as well for eye level i'm like that is fucked up I'm like you're you I are like trying that. i like way that. too hard for yeah. anyone who thinks this is a good resort unless you like <laughs> really are de-steaming your bathroom your whole bathroom fills up with lots of hot steam right which is full of of water yeah. it's moisture in the in, in this water vapor Ugh. it wrecks your phone oh yeah yeah i know it's oh the, I, thought, I broke two phones like that right it's the equivalent of just literally putting water in your phone yeah. It right. set, you know, like those little white tags that get, turn red when you get water damage. It sets those off. Yeah, and also like just the uh, the inside the charger spot corrodes the pins. Yep. Right. So don't if you have an iPhone or something, I recommend not going in the shower and texting or doing anything or jerking. <laughs> right. Whatever you want to do. He used to respond yeah, like right. on Snapchat. Like, oh yeah, I would, I would text. Just, I would just in the shower, real quick. Yeah. <sighs> or play music and shit like. So all right, what are, uh, besides the snot thing, what else do you guys do? A shower? Um, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, shower? Okay. I feel like peeing in the shower is super common. Oh, yeah. Peeing in the shower you know, is If you don't pee in the shower, like, fuck you. Like, you're Frank, lying. Frank got angry at me. Yeah. For so peeing I, in it? Yeah, yeah. I was like, dude, everybody does it. I'm yeah. telling you, some people are well, super no, expensive. Well, wait. If you're, like, in a house with a bunch of buddies and you're, like, showering in each other's right. shower, I don't know if I would. Oh, I have a good story for you guys. Oh, it's bad. Put it in perspective, like, the day we were all moving in, he's like, okay, who here pees in the shower? <laughs> he said that. And all three of us were like, yeah, why wouldn't we? And he's like, that's gross, guys. Why would you do that? <laughs> no, it's not. That's it? That's he just said it's gross. Yeah, See, yeah. piss, Fucking piss is gonna go right down the drain. Yeah, I don't even have to think about it. Picking your nose is <laughs> all I gotta too. think about is yeah, just why not pick, fucking. Why don't you blow your nose in then? Come on. Because I don't know. I've never thought of doing it. There. You should try it. Highly. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm gonna tonight when go I fucking shower. Right. All right. Good. So I have two stories. Right um, after I jerk off. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so people who do jerk off in the shower, a lot of you fuck you. So I <laughs> go on vacation. Like uh -huh. I'll go to Florida every year with a bunch of buddies. Um, Sam's not there, so he's good. He's he's safe here. And, like, these people who can't last, like, a fucking week without jerking off. Oh, like, I know, right? Like, bro. That's pretty pathetic. Yeah. It's fucked up. I'm like, I'm like. It's fucked up. I'm like, one guy, when someone was in the shower for a long time, I take long showers, but, like, I just fucking enjoy showers. I just like showering. <laughs> and um, so one of them, I'm like, I'm like, dude, what are we doing? I know they don't usually take long showers. Uh -huh. Just a fan of showers. Yeah, right. I know they usually don't take long showers. I'm like, dude, what are you doing there? Jerking off? He goes, oh, yeah. I'm like, wait, what? I'm oh, like, God. I'm like, I'm like, do you. And then two other people go, yeah, I jerked off in the shower this week. I'm like. I'm like fuck you guys. I'm like that's fucking nasty. I'm like you can't. And then the fucking person whose place it is is like, oh yeah, I did too. And I'm like, oh, you God. can jerk off in your room, bro. Like I know, right? I'm like, ah, oh. I was. It was oh, I, I don't know why. Like it, it, it's, it goes along with the same gross. thing of like they don't give a shit. It's washing down the drain anyway. Yeah, but, but still, like, yeah. I, like I'm more it. disturbed, right, by yeah. the fact that they can't just wait. And the worst part is you're in, you're staying in a room with six guys. Right. <laughs> like okay, let me give you. Who are all in the other room playing Xbox and shit right. while you're jerking off in the Mag shower? Magfest. It's like a five. Let's let's just round it up. It's like a five day event, yeah, right? Yeah. From yeah. from start to finish, it's a good start five to finish, days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There there is not a single point in time where I'm like, oh fuck, wish I could like jerk, jerk off, off right? right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish I could jerk. Three in the morning. Right no, what I do is, I oh dude, I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's just like it's so. I'm just like not once. I I remember thinking about it. Like when I came back, I was like, wow. I didn't think once of like I even met a porn ever, star. Like, right. Even like thinking about it. Just, <laughs> right. You have so much other better shit to do. Right. It's yeah. like you would think you're like, that's what I'm saying. You're right. On vacation. It's just like fucking go, yeah, just go to do sleep, something. wake up right. early, do some shit, or right. you know, go out at three in the morning and play video games at Magfest. Right. Or go to the concert hall or meet porn time? stars or Whatever. get drunk. And it is weird. I don't know, but games. here, well, all right. 
Because now you said the snot thing, I'm wondering if like fucking my roommate does it like in my bathroom. They should. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? I, it's like I, I Wait, just as much as I don't want to step you're on, on common. You're, st- you're on Brett's floor, right? Yeah, I am. Yeah. He's he's a weird. I don't know. I, I he's a clean I cut. I don't know. I feel like he wouldn't. I don't think so. I don't think I've right. I've gone to like I've washed my face right. Yes, sir. And felt my nose be like kind of sniffly, and then mm. just blew my nose in the sink. Oh, it's, that's, it's that's so I don't things. I don't really snot rocket. If I'm rocket. already leaning into the sink, I can just blow it right into my. It gets all in my hands. I rinse my hands <laughs> oh. off. I make sure it's not on my face, and that's the end of it. It's the same fucking concept. I'm only, only in like really bad situations where I'm walking down the street. I'm like, oh, God, do you guys like my I, little I, goofy I stories? You like this, we get in the real topics. I know. Here. Yeah. yeah the How long balls. is this fucking episode? Super long. long. It's definitely our longest yet. Yeah. I think it's I think it's over two hours. I think so too. We always cut it up. We're like sure. approaching an hour thirty right now. Really? Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna, I mean, like, I'm gonna like end with one really, really funny one that um, I don't think will offend anyone. Do you sing in the shower? Sorry. sorry. Do you sing, sing in the shower? shower? I no. used to, not anymore. No. I don't sing or listen to music. I will yeah, if, I, if no one's home and I, I'm just yeah. blasting it loud. Like if, if it's not blasting music, I don't get into it. Right. But if I like, if no one's home and I just fucking just turn my the Lexus shit all the way up, then mm-hmm. I'll just yeah. I'll See, when I shower, I am always on a mission. Right. Oh my god. And that is to shower. That's not. Oh, I'm like I'm there to. I prep everything. Yeah, and right. Enjoy I'm the like, water. I'm like relaxing, and then once I'm like in the water, I'm like, all right, it's go time. And like, you wow. know, just clean everything nice and nice and shiny He's like, clean. Yeah. And then I get out. And yeah, right. I know that about Sam. Actually, oh, every oh, time he goes, now here's a good question. Pool, <laughs> yeah, He's like, I, I like here's a good off. question. Because uh, I think it's weird to do this. Okay. Do you like really scrub and clean your legs in the shower? No, not like I don't. Crazy. I just let the soap. Do its thing, you know. Okay. Go Let me tell you this. Slide I scrub my down, arms. You know I scrub I mean? my arms nice. I, I, Scru- arms, chest, back, arms, ass, chest, but n- yeah. nothing else. The ex- the ass for sure. You gotta make oh, sure. Oh yeah, you gotta make sure the yeah, ass. Gotta be right, clean right. in the ass. But legs. So I don't any sure. guys out there don't you know? Make sure you're cleaning the ass. The right. gonads. Right. The you gonads. Know, you know, like the uh, the loofah, <laughs> the big puffy ball. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I have one of those. I use that on every part of my body. right? Yeah. I just I drag along all my legs. Oh really? All of my legs. Both my legs. I don't always go. Every part of my. I don't always go all the way down. I'll go like my knees. Like I'll go knees up. Make sure. Listen, I don't give a shit what you do. Between feet. the ankles and your crotch, but feet. your feet yeah. must be feet. washed. Yeah, I've been you gotta scrub the feet. Yeah. I have had a you roommate who told me word for word. I go, "Do you wash your feet?" Because, like, you know, it was notorious. His feet stunk. It was, mm-hmm. it was just a thing. I go, "So wait, you gotta tell me, do you wash your feet?" And he's like, "Well, yeah, of course I wash my feet." I'm like, well, "You like scrub your feet and like get in between your toes?" He's like, "Oh no, I just like let the soap run over him. You know, it's like the soap's getting <laughs> yeah. all over him." And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, "That's not washing your feet." That's why your feet smell like mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. Because you, you wash. don't wash them, right? Yeah. As much as shit I, I'll scrub there. the feet, but like, and by, not all the time, by the way. Sometimes I don't fucking scrub oh, no. my feet. I don't, my feet have never smelled bad. I'm calling the police. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you know, when when you do when you you're doing the deep cleaning sessions, you know, like yeah. really scrubbing, getting in there. You clean the feet, but I, I rarely do I fucking scrub my legs. Wow. I just put do some on the thigh and then I'm let already it... going down there. Might as well hit the legs on the way down. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I because I'm like you. I want to get in and out. And right. like I mean the the legs are fine. What, yeah. What's on my leg? You know what I mean? Who knows? That's true. Sweat. I'm a sweaty guy. So. All right. My last story yeah, before we, we oh. finish this off. All right. Um, so I was at this uh, this thing for my aunt. She does dog rescue and stuff. And uh, some guy was like randomly, I don't know why he brought up the story. I didn't really, I wasn't really listening. Mm-hmm. But um, he was talking about one of his workers and his worker was was transgender. And mm-hmm. instead of just like saying that his worker was transgender or something, he tries like explaining it in the worst possible way ever. Mm-hmm. He goes, he goes, oh, so like I had this terrible worker that was working for me. Like they were, you know, like, like goofy. I'm right. like, Goofy. I'm like, wait, goofy. what the fuck? No, that's how he explains that. I swear, everyone's like looking at him like, what uh-huh. the fuck did you just say? Like, yeah. What do you mean, goofy? Is that how he rides for like, skateboard? Yeah, right. <laughs> are, you, are you really railing on him? Yeah, like, right. For five minutes, he's like try- explaining it as goofy. Doesn't. Uh-huh. We're like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, oh, they're, you know, they're transgender. I'm like, is that how you say normally? That? I'm like, do you normally you explain? He's got a dick and tits. I know, right? I'm like, yeah, do you yeah. normally explain to someone like they're they're fucking goofy? They're goofy. Like, what is it fucking? What is, like what the fuck? I know, right? Huh. Doesn't make any sense. Goofy. Yeah, I'm right. like, oh my god. Yeah, my daughter's a little, uh, you know, a little, little funny, a little, yeah. right. <laughs> a little jokester, huh? Yeah, right. so a little like, bit of a joke. Uh, super vague. Yeah, she's weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's just kind of weird. She's a little goofy. Um, maybe she's not comfortable with like transgender talk. Not, or speak. No, not yeah, I guess so. That's. Uh, I mean, like uh, the pronoun. Pretty common shit. nowadays. Yeah. yeah. I guess is that what you're supposed to say? Transgender, right? Yeah, it's normal. Oh, that's a yeah. Well, no, I think you just refer him as boy or girl, right? 
No. What? No. Fucking transgender. Up with no, time. Wait, so transgender is they've transitioned, right? No. Oh. No, yeah, if you're transgender, you're like you're just like I'm a fucking pyro fox or something like No, nah, Troy's right actually. I'm wait, right. That, wait, no. transgender is when you yeah. fully switch? Yeah, transgender is fully switched. So Are what is sure? it called when you just let's make, let's make sure. identify let's make sure. as a as in like transferring your gender, you're switching. I would oh, say yeah, yeah. They're right. I'm pretty they're sure. Right. <laughs> I was right. like, wait. Trend wait, no, isn't that a transsexual? That transsexual is They have dif- they differ from their sexual, assi- yeah, they differ from their assigned sex. That's an orientation. They're different from their assigned sex. Yeah, they transition. Transition from one sex to another. A transgender? Identify as a transsexual. No, transsexual. A transsexual. Is your gender. So yeah, they, right. Yeah. yeah but no, that's still true, though. That means you should be calling them, like, I guess, to be respectful, you'd say you call them by whatever they right. prefer to be called by. Yeah, Troy's correct. Yeah. So uh, if I'm transgender. Yeah, and you said you're a female right now. I respectfully would call you a female. And that would make you yeah. transgender. Yes. Right. But transsexual. If you got surgery switch, and had the switch. That's a yeah. transsexual. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. So okay, now we understand. Now, yeah. I, okay. So we were right. No, Wait, no, we're you weren't. Right. No, because Troy said you said transgender was when you switch. Well, no, I said I'd call them a male. I said I would call them a, a, a whatever they, they want to be called. That's they what I said. Genders, not yeah, they switch genders. Okay, I think we should ass. drop it. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, yeah. This. Anyway, so, <laughs> so the best the best we get out of this is we go home, we Google it, and we right. go. Ah, uh, we right. Right. All right, guys. Um, yeah, right. don't That's subscribe, it. don't like, copyright us, yeah, whatever. Right, yeah. Fuck it. Um, I'll say you fuck off at this point. So. Yeah. We, Wait, so what was the point of that conversation? Uh, what the goofy thing? Oh yeah, that the just goofy. Yeah, it's just goofy. We're just goofy. Yep. Well, speak for yourself. Yeah. Oh fuck. All right. They should make a transsexual goofy movie. What? Because you know you never see Goofy's right, wife. You never yeah, see let's, Goofy's let's, wife. Let's, let's sign it out. Okay. You never see his wife. Where have, is she? Comments, Building please, seven. Please, 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 please. <laughs> if, if we're leaving comments, let us know how you guys like the longer podcast versus shorter podcasts. Um, shout out uh, Post what are you Malone. That also is oh. signed by Post Malone for those who. They're not oh, paying nice time. us. Way to switch it off. Why are you selling their merch? We're going to fire this guy. He's What's done. going on? <laughs> We're signing out. Goodbye. Drive fast. Take chances. Oh, really, all I really think about is getting cheese. Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga, bust up. Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga. Quick shop, clothes brand new. Fendi T, Prada jeans, match my Prada shoes. I watch Captain Fade in views where the men.